Mary McCartney and welcome to the London Sales Gallery Tour which coincides with the specially curated women artist season in which Sotheby's continues to bring female creativity to the forefront. We'll be exploring the modern and contemporary evening art auctions and the now evening art auction. First we're going to speak to Helena Newman who's going to show us one of the top lots from the London sale a stunning masterpiece by Kandinsky from his Murnau period. Helena, thank you for joining me today and I think we should dive straight in and kick off with that amazing Kandinsky. Well, thank you, Mary. It's the star of the show. Um, the Kandinsky is a magnificent painting, probably one of the most important by the artist to come to auction ever. 1910 is the year it was painted and it's just at that cusp of Kandinsky going on that journey into abstraction, which is going to set the scene for everything that comes in the 20th century, right through to the abstract expressionists. Yeah, it's interesting you say that because you, you can see that as a landscape, but some of those key shapes are starting to take place within that canvas. You can see the figuration still there, but it has this very strong momentum to it and this diagonal thrust and energy, which is both musical and abstract and incredibly powerful. This piece probably yes. is like nothing that's been on the market. So, so the story is, is just incredible. I mean, mm. we've talked about the quality of the painting, but yeah. the story is one of those incredible restitution stories. The painting was originally one of the high points of the collection of Siegbert and Johanna Margarete Stern, who lived in Berlin and Potsdam in the mm. 1920s, part of that sort of glittering circle of literary, artistic, uh, cultural milieu of the 20s, where this kind of circle was frequented by Kafka and, and Einstein. I and, want to be and, there with you them know, now. <laughs> Martin Buber and all these amazing yeah. giants of that period. This painting hung in their dining room in Potsdam and you know they had this great collection which was tragically dispersed when the Nazis came to power and they had to flee. Margareta fled to Holland and the painting was lost and sold off in that period and it's only just now come to be restituted to the heirs of the original owners who are now the, the sellers of this work. And there's this feeling of it being restored back mm. to the family, mm. that it almost takes me back to that original dining room, thinking oh. of all those evenings spent with that painting with the family. Well, thank you for bringing that to our attention today. It's a, it's a masterpiece, really beautiful, really inspiring, and I really appreciate you bringing it to my attention and telling me more about it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you're going to tell me about the amazing Gerhard Richter piece. We are so excited to have yeah. another great masterpiece by Gerhard Richter leading our sales in March. It's one of only five squeegee paintings in this scale left in private hands, which is pretty wow. staggering. Wow. He's only done 24 paintings on this size or greater, 16 of which are in museum collections. So this really is an incredibly rare opportunity. And so tell me about the scale, the size of it, just so, I, you know, so the viewer can imagine. When you're faced with a painting on this scale, it's like you're faced with a kind of wall of colour. It's like a, a waterfall in many respects, just the towering canvas in front of you. And it was really in 1986, which is the year he created this painting, when he discovered the squeegee and started using that as his primary creation tool rather than a brush. He'd been creating works with a brush in the kind of traditional manner, but often blurring the image. You know, he started in the 1960s basing his paintings on photographs from magazines and newspapers, and then started painting in a more abstract way where he was trying to remove his hand and remove the artist's direction from the creation of the image. 
with his abstract paintings, he was trying to come up with images that were more based on chance mm -hmm. and you know, trying, to, trying to challenge what it was to be a painter in an age of photography. I think that's what is so beautiful about it. I imagine just pulling over that squeegee of paint, not knowing exactly what you're going to get. It's a pretty unique tool in its own right. It's a tool that is simultaneously creating and destroying with each kind of movement across the surface. So you've got this revealing and obscuring happening simultaneously with each layer informing the one that sits underneath it. It's got elements of photo painting underneath the squeegee. Mm -hmm. You can see almost like a, a sky or a seascape. There's a very different underlayer beneath the abstract gestures on top. So there's elements of photography, photo painting and abstraction all brought together within this image. It's a truly extraordinary painting. I think that's what really resonates, that there isn't this glossiness about it. There's this sort of earthiness and physicality to it, which has quite a lot of depth. Richter's approach to creating abstract paintings is much more meditative and thought out than someone like Jackson Pollock or the abstract expressionists whose work is often compared to Gerhard Richter. I mean, he's seen as mm. the father of contemporary abstraction. And for that, he's taking a much more conceptual approach to abstract painting than any other artist in the 20th century. James, it has really been very informative talking to you about this, and I loved learning more about the process and sort of placing it within Gerhard Richter's career. So yes, thank you very much. Not at all. And now from that epic Gerhard Richter, we're gonna talk about Dance on the Beach with Thomas Boyd Bowman. Thomas, it's such a pleasure to meet you today. Tell me about the Edward Monk that's coming up for auction. So this extraordinary painting, mm. four metres wide, was painted by Edvard Monk between 1906 and 1907. And it was actually commissioned by a friend of his, the theatre impresario Max Reinhardt, for his new theatre in Berlin. Dance on the Beach relates very closely to a really amazing composition which was achieved just a few years earlier called The Dance of, of Life. And in it, we have two of Monk's great lovers and the loves of his life, Militaro on the left, the blonde, and the brunette, Tula Larsen, on the right. And in the middle of it is a, a dance set on this strand of a Norwegian fjord in the summer when the sun never sets in Scandinavia. Mm. It feels like a very honest and emotional piece. He only had a very short relationship with Militalo, but who was really important to him, and um, he never really forgot her. And on the right, Tula Larsen, who very famously, they had a really heightened relationship, and actually the breakup involved a pistol going off and a monk being shot in the hand, wow. um, which had only taken place a few years before this painting was actually completed. And these emotional dramas were what um, monk drew on continuously throughout the rest of his life to inform his compositions. Monk had spent some time in Italy and he really adored the effect of frescoes. And there's that sense of great permanence. There's a real truth to mm. fresco painting, partly because of that dryness, that surface, which um, it feels um, honest, um, mm. very truthful. And that directness is what Monk was searching for. But to use such vivid colours, that amazing, vibrant orange and green and red and blue, also draws it right back to that sense of it being primary, really raw and fresh. I'd love to know more about the history of the Reinhardt Frieze. Could you tell me about it? So after it's commissioned, um, it goes up and is installed in Max Reinhardt's theatre in Berlin. But it only actually stays up for a few years and ends up being broken up and sold to different collectors. This work, along with a couple of others, ended up with Kurt Glaser, who was an amazing collector uh, of, of you know, cutting-edge, avant-garde, um, modern art. Though sadly, um, he and his family faced persecution um, with the rise of the Nazi party, and much of his collection was disposed of. This painting ends up with Thomas Olsen, the Norwegian collector, and is in fact the only painting from the frieze not currently housed in a German museum. Well, thank you for talking to me about it. It's really sort of added to the depth and emotion that I was already feeling. Really special like a really beautiful painting you're going to tell me about now really uplifting pablo picasso tell me about the painting in the auction please so we are delighted to mm. be offering a portrait of picasso's daughter maya it's called the girl with the boat and it comes from a series of pictures that he painted at the very beginning of 1938 
Picasso at this time um, had been you know, undergoing a, a massive shift, both in his private life, but also artistically. The relationship that had propelled him towards this point was that that he had with Maya's mother, Marie Therese, which was sadly coming to an end. Mm. Um, at the same moment, he had met and fallen in love with Dora Maar. And Maya's birth in the middle of this emotional sort of turmoil acted really as a sort of beacon of light, of, of sort of pure joy and pleasure, as we see so much of her mother in her. It was composed just after he'd finished Guernica. Absolutely. I mean, that amazing, dark, tumultuous composition that is Guernica, the most powerful, you know, an aggressive statement about the human condition, about politics, about, you know, what's going on in the world. And yet he, he very shortly after produces this jewel-like series of pictures, which are just expressions of love. Mm. Um, and that's one of the most amazing things about Picasso is that he lives a whole life and he has the capacity to express every aspect of it. Compositionally, he actually places her right in the middle of the picture plane. So he's gone right down to her level and she's given all of the sort of stature and grandeur of a full length portrait, mm -hmm. but that of a child. It was owned by Gianni Versace yes. um, and that was actually the last time it was um, sold at auction was coming from his collection nearly 20 years ago. This one's quite so sort of chic with her check dress and amazing vibrancy of colour. Yeah. I was thinking that, I was wondering if we'd be able to look at his collections and see some influence from that. But I'm sure he found it inspiring. And this piece was hanging recently in the Picasso Museum. Yeah, it really comes across as a really special and personal painting. Thank you. Now I'll be speaking to Emma Baker about the fabulous Barbara Kruger, the perfect opportunity to bring female artists center stage. Emma, I'm excited about the lots that you're going to talk me through, starting with Barbara Kruger. We've got some incredible female artists on offer in our cells this March, and it's part of a wider thing that we're doing at Sotheby's to really bring attention to female artists, makers. We're having not only incredible works in our evening cells and day cells, but also having a full-on exhibition, which you're very much a part of, and then also having a whole auction, which is just female artists. But yeah, Barbara Kruger, she is just one of the most important artists of our time, undoubtedly. Super exciting for me personally, yeah, to have a Barbara Kruger in our evening auction. Um, she really was starting to create these pieces in the 1980s, mm. which our work is from 1989. But they're so relevant now just because of the hyper image culture that we find ourselves in with social media sort of the quite harsh political realities we find ourselves in as well. So mm -hmm. the toughness and the pithiness of her work really does speak to us today more so than it ever has. In researching her more, I, I hadn't realised that she worked at Mademoiselle. And yeah. Was she an, an uh, art director? Yeah, exactly. So she trained um, at Parsons School of Design under Diane Arbus. Oh, yeah. Um, and then she came to the world of graphic design. And that's when she really was aware of this usage of imagery in like the 1960s and just how that was directed to kind of principally the female viewer and just the idea of consumption and the idea of these very flattering consumer images that were manipulating really mm. the, the readers. Because what's so important is the visual, but also the words yeah. that she uses. What she's doing is just injecting the female perspective into this history of images, which has been patriarchal, very male dominated, and especially for a, an artist who's part of the second wave feminist movement, sort of the 1970s, 60s, she, you know, she shines a light on this um, mm. like no other artist really had done so strongly um, before. It's two canvases that butt up against each other. Exactly, right? yeah. But it feels like one of them feels like you're in an operating room or a procedure is about to happen. Mm. And then the other one seems very much about human Just consumption. Consumer, yeah, consumerism. exactly. Again, you know, growing up, you know, because I'm very much into meat free Mondays yeah. and vegetarian cooking. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of thing of industry and, you know, the world today comes yep. to mind. The capitalist machine. And the capitalist machine. These hierarchies <laughs> of control and power and... Industry. Industry, yeah. And you do have these very juxtaposed images. One which is, as you say, like an operating table. Mm. Someone who looks like they're about to get some sort of barbaric brain surgery. And then the other one, which is a man sort of feeding himself with this really quite grisly piece of meat, sort of almost looks uncooked. It is just kind of this 
really sort of hyper control like you, she's trying to reveal the structures at work I think in, in our consumption of images and to let us question what's going on in this, this dynamic between text and image. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how that does. I think, yeah. I think there's going to be a bidding war over I that hope one. so, there should be. <laughs> <laughs> so going on for another female artist, another female maker as well, and an artist who does also use that point of view as very important in her work is Cecily Brown. Mm. So she's a painter, um, really inspired by abstract expressionism, by Francis Bacon, and her work is this really incredible coalition of abstraction and figuration. I could really see it in this painting, the Willem de Kooning yes. connection. Yeah, absolutely. So it's called The Nymphs Have Departed from 2014, and it's a direct art historical reference back to, I think it's Rubens, um, and his depiction of the whole mythology of Diana, who is a goddess of fertility, the moon, very kind of feminine ideals. And that throughout art history has been an incredibly important sort of dialogue through Titian, I think Vermeer, um, just a whole host of classical artists who looked at that theme and with a very sort yeah. of erotic take on it. So interesting to yeah. then have her come in and, and do a female, kind of her female perception of the whole piece. 100%. Which it takes that sort of... Um, it, it sort of turns it on its head a bit, doesn't it? It's quite yeah. exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. And I think what she does is she denies the viewer sort of any fixed representation. So there's a suggestion of a body part or a figure here and there, and it disappears mm. in the brushwork because she's so good with oil paint and she's so good with these fluid, quick marks. Um, I can tell you love this piece. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> and tell me, where does this particular painting sit in her career? She came into the, the whole scene in the late 1990s, mm -hmm. kind of off the back of the whole Young British Artist movement. But she decided she didn't really like the affiliation with those kind of sensation shock artists. She was more into her own thing. She decided to remove herself, so she was London-based. She now lives and works in New York. Um, so this, this work really comes at a point where she's established herself. And it's just come at a moment where she's looking more focusedly, I think, at, at art historical forms and sort of flora and fauna and bodies and not just the hard-edged sort of erotic content, which her earlier work is fairly explicit. But here it's more of an allusion, I think, to these, these forms and these figures with this art historical basis, which is just, yeah, gorgeous when you see it in person. Tell me about the next piece. The next piece is a work by Flora Yuknovich. She's an artist who you can see the influence of Cecily Brown on her work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really obvious. So she's incredibly young. I think she's only in her early 30s. Um, she's represented by Victoria Miro. Mm -hmm. And we've seen incredible competition, excitement over her work. And she's an artist who really is sort of successor and heir to the work that Cecily Brown really laid down in the 90s and mid 2000s. And again, it's all to do with the male gaze and sort mm. of upending it and overturning it and repossessing it as a woman artist. That's what I love about it. It's like you think you know what you're getting and then when you look at it, it's sort of the brush strokes yeah. are much harsher. Like it, it does have, you're going into this romantic and you're like, actually, it's, it's got a lot more turmoil and physicality to yeah, it as well. Yeah, that's it. So. And she takes on this Rococo palette and these Rococo influences specifically. Like that's her period of art mm. history, whereas Someone like Cecily Brown might take a, a broader view, but she's focused on this, this particular era in art history when they're very sort of titillating composition. Someone like Fragonard, Boucher, presenting women in this very sort of whimsical light in like a garden on a swing. Mm. And she really does overturn that sense of the male gaze. So she, you can kind of, when you look at it, it's sort of a work where from a distance you, you think you see something, but up close it totally disappears just because she's so good with like brushwork. Yeah, beautiful. And so great to have it yeah, as right our here. beautiful backdrop right now. I can tell how passionate you are about <laughs> these pieces. So yeah, it's thank been you. really incredible chatting with you. Thank you. Thanks, Mary. Like Flora Yuknovich, Michael Armitage brings us straight back up into the contemporary world of art, and I'll be speaking to Hugo Cobb about it all. Welcome, Hugo. Thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you so much for being here, Mary. It's a very exciting time at Sotheby's. Yeah, I can't wait for you to tell me about these lots. First of all, we're going to start with Michael Armitage. Tell yes. Me, tell me everything. Yeah, we are so, so, so excited. This is the first time 
that we have a uh, major and important example of Michael Armitage mature practice at auction. So this is Muliero Gardens by Michael Armitage, and the estimate is one to one and a half million pounds. The thing is, I love the subject matter on this one. It's like, for, as a photographer, the composition, I kind of love, you know, you've got the, the baboons, and then the two people sort of, they're all on this, seems like the same focal plane, but I'm dying to know more about the story behind this one. These are narrative paintings. They're of stories, but they're painted in this super, super engaging way where you've got stuff in the foreground and stuff in the background alongside abstract elements, and they sort of blend and meld together so that the artist is able to tell uh, a narrative. In this instance, Muliro Gardens refers to a viral tabloid story from 2011. Um, which was a police sting operation, whereby yeah. the police uh, installed hidden cameras in a spot where couples used to go and have sex in a public park. Wow. And then <laughs> sold the resulting images to the press. So it's a tough subject matter, but Michael Armitage, this is the kind of thing he does. He focuses on the untold stories of East Africa, mm -hmm. and in a lot of ways, the harsh realities of, of Kenyan life. So he might make a painting of political violence, or he's made a number of paintings about refugee scenes, and, and he, he's telling the stories that are not often presented to us, the viewers. And also the, the type of canvas he uses, I think, is sort of important to his style of painting. Exactly. So Armitage has spoken about how he wants to situate himself within an East African tradition of mm. painting. So for him, he paints on Lubugo bark cloth, which is a very, very traditional East African material. There's moments where it's stitched together. There are holes and imperfections in the canvas, or, or in the cloth, I should say. And it absorbs paint in a very, very particular way. Because mm. that kind of the surreal, ethereal, but also allegorical use of animals is, is very, very typical of other artists within the East African tradition. And in this instance, well, within the East African tradition, baboons are supposed to kind of provoke the viewer to think about the short distance between human behaviours and animal behaviours. Mm -hmm. And obviously that, that links into the subject matter in, in, in quite a telling way. Well, it's kind of interesting because growing up in a vegetarian family as well, I've always had huge respect for animals. And so this, that, that is one thing that struck me with this painting. It's sort of like dealing with animals and humans, like we're all animals, basically. It's sort of putting us all on a level playing field, which right. is something that really kind of draws me to this piece. Totally. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. And, and it's quite a large scale piece. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very large, sort of over two meters in height. And actually, when you stand in front of the painting, the thing that's most impressive is the sort of throbbing colour and intensity. Mm. As I say, the, the medium, the Lubugo bark, is, is very, very distinctive, the way that it holds colour. It, it feels incredibly fresh and vibrant and immediate. Mm. And just, the, you know, the artist's mark-making and use of colour, it creates this overall impression that almost seems to vibrate with intensity. Michael Armitage, at the moment, is, is probably the most sought-after figurative painter on the planet. In the last five years, there's been a string of, of exhibitions at some of the world's most well-regarded museums, uh, and sort of each one has been better critically received than the last. Mm. Um, as I say, this is the first large, mature painting to appear at auction, uh, and so it's a, it's a really rare event within the art market and something that we're ex incredibly excited about. And so now you're going to tell me about the Jana Euler piece, which is a really, is an, again, another large scale piece, isn't it? She's an artist who never ever talks about her own work, but by considering her career as a whole, she's someone who we can say she's never made a bad painting, mm -hmm. but she does take a kind of perverse pleasure in painting things that might be ugly or in deliberately bad taste or garish or gauche or off-putting. And in this way, I guess in, in the internet age, we could almost call her a troll. She's yeah. deliberately trying to provoke, um, provoke her viewers. You know, Jana Euler had a whole room displayed, uh, dedicated to her work in the Central Pavilion at the Venice Biennale mm. last year. She's sort of being exhibited alongside, you know, pictures like the ones around me in these sort of cathedrals of good taste. It's like she kind of, in, in the serious settings, she kind of wants to remind people to have a bit of a totally. sense of humour or don't take everything quite so seriously. It, it, and also make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Exactly. I mean, she's, they're sort of so gauche as mm. to be surreal. You know, when everyone else zigs, she's an artist who zags. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, and so, you know, in these, whether it's the Venice Biennale or the evening cell at Sotheby's, in these rooms where you have sort of noble landscapes and very serious still lives, Jana Euler takes the opportunity to present us with a three meter foaming <laughs> pint of beer. I think that's part of the surreality of mm. it. To, it's such a prosaic pedestrian everyday subject as a pint of beer. Mm. Um, something that I think you would, you, you might think is something that might not be worthy to have the sort of high praise of the art world lavished upon it. And yet Jana Euler takes the chance to present it in incredible photorealistic detail mm. uh, and executed on the grand scale of a history painting. Well, thank you. I've really enjoyed chatting with you today. Absolutely. Well, thank it's you been, so much. It's been fascinating and I can't wait to see how these, uh, these paintings do in the auction. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you for joining me on the London Sales Gallery Tour and you can check out the auction live on the 1st of March to see the modern and contemporary evening auction and the now evening auction. The Nymphs Have Departed is a really beautiful example of Cecily Brown's meditation on the nature of painting and the role of the human figure within it. On the surface of this painting, there is no foreground or background. There's no horizon line and viewers are left questioning where they stand in relation to the action taking place on the canvas. We are so excited to present Cecily Brown's The Nymphs Have Departed as a top law of our now evening auction on the 1st of March and as a highlight of our women artists campaign here at Sotheby's. Cecily Brown was born in London and studied at the Slade School of Art between 1989 and 1993. In 1994, she moved to New York and was really positioned alongside a group of artists that included Christopher Wool, Richard Prince, and John Curran. These artists were really trying to reinvent and reimagine the genre of painting at a time when the medium was really declared dead. While Brown looks through the canon of art history in her abstract painting, she's also looking to Greek mythology and to the portrayal of Diana and her nymphs. Brown's most clearly delineated figure is on the right-hand side of the composition. This figure really beautifully echoes the figure of Diana in both Titian and Rubens' portrayals of Diana and her nymphs. It's this pose of surprise where she's lifted her arms above her head as Acteon or the satyrs surprise her. Cecily Brown is looking to the old master's depiction of the erotic and the female nude. And she's looking at these male artists' depiction of the eroticized female body, but she's trying to really subvert this male gaze. Cecily Brown, therefore, reimagines these themes of sexual tension, chaos, and the body in motion depicted by the old masters, and really translates these themes for a contemporary audience via her abstraction. Another key reference point is T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland from 1922, which is really a masterpiece of modernist poetry. In this poem, Eliot describes the psychological state of Europe after the First World War and depicts London as a city of hedonism and chaos. Throughout his poem, he's describing the nymph figure, which becomes a euphemism for prostitutes. The river bears no empty bottles, sandwich papers, silk handkerchiefs, cardboard boxes, cigarette ends, or other testimony of summer nights. The nymphs are departed. 
Cecily Brown is one of the most celebrated female artists working today, and her upcoming show at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York is really testament to her monumental contribution to contemporary painting.
Hello, good evening and a very warm welcome to Sotheby's London. My name is Michael McCauley and it is my great pleasure to be your auctioneer for the first of tonight's sales, the Now Evening Auction. As those of you who are familiar with the Now Auction format will know, these sales are focused on showcasing artists who are absolutely of the moment. This season we'll be presenting 21 works by some of today's great talents. Among them, Julian Wen, Caroline Walker, Michael Armitage, Flora Yuknovich, Louis Frattino, Chloe Wise, Eva Yuskovich, and very many more. We will also see auction debuts for Emma Webster and Mohamed Sabi. Following the sale, I will hand over to my esteemed colleague Helena Newman, who will be your auctioneer for the modern and contemporary evening sale. Before we begin, a few announcements. Please note that everything is sold under the authenticity guarantee and on an as-is basis. Buyer's premium and overhead premium will be added to the hammer price of each lot offered along with any applicable artist resale royalty and any applicable VAT or amount in lieu of VAT as part of the total purchase price payable. As of February 1st, 2023, buyer's premium, pay buyer's premium payable on each lot for all categories excluding wine and spirits is as follows. 26% of the hammer price up to and including £800,000. 20% of amounts in excess of £800,000 up to and including £3,800,000 and 13.9% on any amounts in excess of £3,800,000. Please refer to the online sale catalogue for further information regarding lots with guarantees and irrevocable bids. Please also refer to our conditions of business for our full terms of sale. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we can begin here in London at 6pm with the now sale Opening here with Lot 1 by Mohamed Sami. Sold as viewed, thank you very much. Mohamed, of course, making his auction debut this evening with Family Issues 1, following his first institutional solo exhibition in London this January. I have some absentee interest here already, can I, so I can start at 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars, 55, 60 thousand dollars, 65, 70 is here, 80 thousand, I took it in the room, so you'll say 100 on the telephone, 110 back in the room at 110, 120 behind you, 130, 140 James, will you say 150, thank you so much, 160 back to you James, will you say 170, so 160 with James Sevier on the telephone. It's at 160 thousand pound, 170 with James Francis Fox and 180, took it in the room ahead of you James. 200,000, back to you, James. He'll say 220. It's at 200,000, still on the telephone. 220 here with you, Julie. James, over to you. It's at 220. Next is 240, please. 220,000 pounds with Julie Noble. Where's the bid? 240. Thank you, Fergus. It's over to you. With Fergus, then, at 240,000 pounds. At 240,000 pounds. Your bid, Fergus, at 240,000 pounds. Against you in the room. Madam, are you coming back? At 240,000 pounds. Not yours for now at £240,000. Any further advance? 250 I will, James. At 250 Fergus, say 260 I took 250 here. 260 over to you. At 260 Would you like 70 James? At £260,000, if we could update the board. It's at 260 At 260 Shake of the head, quite sure. Lucius, are you coming in? It's £260,000. Still with Fergus, then. Fair warning against the rest of you on the phones. Looking at you, Lucius, at £260,000. Still yours, Fergus. Against the rest of you in the room, at £260,000. Fair warning, lot one, here for the Mohammed Sami. And selling to you, Fergus, then for two... Thank you, James, worth waiting. At 270 it's back to you. Fergus, 280 thank you, no hesitation there at all. At 280 back to you, Fergus. Shake the head, you said it before, quite sure. At £280,000, then on my right, your left, with Fergus Duff. Fair warning, and I'm selling it to you, Fergus, for £280,000. So, congratulations, that goes to Paddle 73. Congratulations to him, congratulations to the artist. Next, we have Lot 2, Drunken Incantations by Guglielmo Castelli, a psychologically charged painting that draws on the artist's profound interest in cinema, theatre, fashion, literature and dance. Sold as viewed, thank you very much indeed. I have some interest here. I'm starting already at 10, 20, 30,000 pounds. Selling in the book at 30, at 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 is here. 60,000, I have 70,000 is already here at 70. A little bit ahead of you online, it's at 70. 80,000, over to you. Nick Dimel at 80,000, I'm out. 90,000 with you, Jen Hua. Thank you for coming from Hong Kong. It's 
in 100,000. With you, Claudia Dweck, thank you so much. At 100, Jen, would you say 110? 110, thank you, Oliver Barker from the telephone banks there. 110,000. 120 is bid online. At 120 against you, Oliver, would you say 130? 130 is bid online now. Will you say 140? It's at 130,000 pounds. 140, thank you, Ollie. At 140 here at Sotheby's, not yours online for now. 150 it is now with paddle 17. Ollie, back to you. Will you say 160? At 150,000 pounds with paddle 17. 160, thank you so much. It's yours for now. At 160 online, are we going on? It's at 160 here with Oliver Barker on the telephone. At 160,000 pounds against the rest of you. Jen, are you coming back? At 160,000 pounds, Claudia. £160,000 for the Castelli. Against you then online. You're going to say fair warning. Last chance. I'm selling it to you, Ollie. For £160,000. Sold. Congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. Goes to paddle 64. We now turn to lot three. Study for the Temptation of Christ by Julian Wen. One of the most exciting young painters working today, of course, who has been hotly followed ever since his groundbreaking debut in the 2017 Whitney Biennale. This is not Solder's view. This is showing here on the easel. Thank you very much indeed. Incredibly beautiful painting, as you can see. I have some interest here. I'm starting already at 40, 50, 60,000 pounds. Sterling in the book at 60, at 60,000 pounds. With the absentee bidder at 60,000 pounds. 60,000, 70, I took it with, who wants 80? 80 with Lucius. Who wants 90? 90, back to you, Nick, at 90. At 90, 100,000 with Wendy, I took it there. At 100,000 with Wendy Lynn. At 100,000, took it with Lucius first. 110, it's here at 110. Who'll say 120? 120, I took it with you. At 120, is that 130? 130, it's with you, Marina, at 130. Who'd like 140? 140, I took it with Nick, just ahead of you, Alex. At 140, 150 with Lucius. In a new place, back to you, Wendy, at 160. At 160 with Wendy Lynn. 160,000 pounds, here on my left. And back to you, Jen, at 170, 180, with you, Hugo, at 180, 190, with you, Jen, at 190,000 pounds, then, 200, 200,000 pounds, with Hugo Cobb, head of the now sale, here on my left, at 200,000 pounds. Jen, are we going on? Nick, Lucius, 220, thank you. Fergus, it's at 220 now, 240 will be next, please, 240, at 240, Fergus, we're saying 260, 260. 280. 300. We've come this far. From you, I will take it. 310,000 pounds here on my left. Fergus, say 320. <coughs> Don't tell me that did it. 310,000 pounds here on my left. With Hugo Cobb, then. Not yours for now. 320, thank you so much. At 320, back to you, Hugo. 330? Thank you very much anyway. At 320,000 pounds, still with you, Fergus Duff. Against you all in the room, at 320,000 pounds. You bidding, Tom? At 320,000 pounds, still yours then, Fergus. For the win, against the rest of you. Fair warning, I'm selling it to you, Fergus Duff, for 320,000 pounds. So, thank you, your paddle is 73. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations to them. Moving on, we have lot four. Maluro Gardens, Baboons, by the critically acclaimed Michael Armitage, who in recent years has received institutional recognition. This is only the second major painting by the artist to appear at auction. As you can see, magnificently hanging at the back of the room here at Sotheby's in London. I am going to start the bidding here at 800,000 pounds, at 800,000, 850,000, at 900,000 pounds then, at 900,000 pounds, at 950,000 pounds, and then 1 million pounds with you, Hugo, 1 million pounds for the Armitage, and selling, of course, with Hugo Cobb here on my left, at 1 million pounds, at 1 million for the Armitage, 1 million one, I just, breath ahead of you, Ollie, at 1-1 one, one with Fergus, would you like 1-2? One, two, thank you very much, Ollie. It's yours at one million two. One, three, back to you, Fergus, at one million three hundred thousand pounds. At one million three. Ollie, will you say one, four? At 
£1,300,000. Still with Fergus. So sorry, one four. Thank you very much. It's in the room now. One million four. One million four hundred thousand pounds ahead of you both, Fergus and Ollie. It's here in the room. One million four. Lady seated. At one million four hundred thousand pounds. At one million four. Fergus, are we going on at one million four? It's not yours for now. At one million four hundred thousand pounds. Then. Thank you very much, Fergus. At one five. Would you like one six? It's at one million five hundred thousand on the telephone. No? Thank you very much anyway. At one million five hundred thousand, still with you, Fergus. At one million five hundred thousand. Against you, Ollie. Fair warning. Last chance. Thank you very much anyway. With you, Fergus, then, against the rest of you, I'm selling it to you, Fergus Duff, for one million five hundred thousand pounds. So, congratulations. Your paddle, please. 73. Thank you very much indeed. Next up, lot five, the mystical and otherworldly Primavera from 2019 by Los Angeles-based artist Emma Webster. Incredibly excited to have this here. Sold as viewed. I'm sure many of you admired it in the exhibition. I have significant... Uh, Advanced interest here, so I can start already at 20, 30, 40,000 dollars, pounds, 50,000 pounds, 60,000 pounds, 65,000 pounds. Here in the book, the highest of the advanced bidders is 65. At 65,000 pounds, it's here in the book. 70,000, 75, it's back here, Marina, at 75. 80, I took online, 85, I have. 100, I have, to the order, Jen. I have 100 already. 110, it's yours. At 110,000 pounds, then over to you, Jen Hua, at 110,000. 110. 120. Is that bid online? It's at 110 with Jen Hua then. At 110. 120. Thank you, Alina. It's yours then. Ahead of you online. It's here with Alina Davy. Jen, will you say 130? 130 with you, Nicole. At 130,000 pounds. At 130,000 pounds with you, Nicole. Against you, Alina. 140 is bid online. Just ahead of you, Alina. It's at 140,000 pounds with the online bidder. Nicole, Alina, he'll say 50, 150. 150 in a new place online. At 150,000. 160, it's between the two of them. The online bidders then, it's at 160,000 pounds. It's not yours, Alina or Nicole, for now. It's at 160,000 pounds. 160. With paddle 17 online. 170, I took it here with you, Wendy, first. It's with Wendy Lynn here at Sotheby's at 170. It's against the two online bidders. It's here with Wendy at 170. 180, it goes back online. Would you like 190, Wendy? at 180 online. 200, thank you very much indeed, at 200,000 pounds. With Phoebe at 200,000, at 200,000 pounds, ahead of you all. Next bid would be 220. It's at 200,000 pounds, your bid. 200,000 pounds, not yours, Wendy. Against you online. At 200,000, 220's bid online now. Would you like 240, Phoebe? At 220,000 pounds with the online bidder, paddle 38. Yes? At 230,000 pounds. We've come this far. Thank you very much. At 230, then. Back to you online. Next bid's 240, please. At 230,000 pounds. 240. Took it there with Alina. Phoebe, say 250. Or even better, 260. 250. Okay. Alina, will you say 260? It's at 250,000 pounds, here on my left with Phoebe, not yours, Alina, against you online, for now, at 250,000 pounds. Alina, are we going on? At 250,000 pounds. Still with you, against you, 260. I took it just ahead of you online, here at Sotheby's with Wendy Lynn, just a hair's breadth ahead of you, at 260,000 pounds, it's here. Who'll say 270? 260,000 pounds then, Fair warning, it's with you, Wendy, at 260, not yours, Alina, against your line. Fair warning, I'm selling. 270, thank you so much. 270, Wendy, say 280, it's 270 now. Will you say 280? 280, thank you so much. 280. Alina, do you want to say 300? Should we just call it a round number? It's at 280,000 pounds here on my left with Wendy Lynn, as you can see. 300? 290, okay. At 290,000 pounds, thank you very much. Wendy, will you say 300? At 290,000 pounds, 300, thank you. 
Let's make 320 the next bid, please, Alina. It's at 300,000 pounds here on my left with Wendy. 320 would be next. Not yours online, fair warning. I'm gonna to have to sell it at 300,000 pounds. Last chance. 320. 310. Should we say 320? Wendy? Should we let it go? 320. Alina? Thank you very much. Anyway, at £320,000, it's yours, Wendy, against the rest of you, and selling for £320,000. So, congratulations. That goes to Paddle 20. Congratulations to you and congratulations to them. <coughs> Lot 6. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Sweet Spot by the inimitable Flora Yuknovich, who this year will become the first artist to take place in a new series of solo exhibitions responding to the collections of the Ashmolean in Oxford. Beautiful painting here, and I can start at only 220,000, 240,000, 260,000, 280,000. He'll say 300 first. It's at 280,000 pounds. 300,000 with you, Jen, then, at 300, and selling to Jen Voir for 300,000 pounds. Simon, you're coming in? 320, I took it with Fergus first, ahead of you all. 350? 350 with you, Jackie, then. Fergus, would you say 380? 380, it's back to you. Who'd say 400? 400, Jackie? 380. 400, I took it with Jen first at 400. At 400,000 pounds with you, Jen. 420, thank you. 420, just ahead of you. Who'd say 450, I took it with Phoebe first. 480, 480 here. Who'll say 500? Shout it out. At 480, 500. A bit louder, Fergus. 500,000 pounds with Fergus Duff on my right. 550, thank you so much. 600, thank you, Jen. Which one? Where is 600? At 600,000 pounds. 650, I took it with Fergus ahead of you. At 650, he'll say 700. Uh, at 650, it's still with Fergus. Will anybody like to say 700? At 680, I'll take it with you, Simon. He'll say 700. Fergus, you want to say 700? At 680, here with Simon Stock, 700, thank you. At Fergus Duff, at 700,000 pounds. He'll say 750. Jen, are we out? Thank you, anyway. At 700,000 pounds, then here with Fergus, at 700. Simon? Other Simon? Phoebe? I'm holding for you. It's at 700,000 pounds. Shake of the head, quite sure. James, coming in. It's 700,000 pounds, we all through. Fair warning, another shake of the head. Fair warning then against you all, except for you, Fergus. You're winning it for now at 700,000 pounds. Against you in the room, against you online. 720, thank you. Simon, didn't think you'd give up, but 720,000 pounds. Next, back to Simon Stock. Fergus, 750. 740. We say 760. Simon. Thank you very much anyway. It's 740,000 pounds with you, Fergus, against the rest of you in the room. Fair warning, hands up. And I'm selling it to you for 740,000 pounds. Sold. Thank you very much. That's paddle 28. Congratulations to you and them. Next, we have lot seven. Cecily Brown's The Nymphs Have Departed, combining figural and abstract painting to sumptuous effect, of course, as you can see behind telephone banks on the south side of the sale room here, at Sotheby's in London. And I'm going to start the bidding here at £2,200,000, at £2,200,000, £2,300,000, £2,400,000 already. Will you say two five two five? Thank you, Jen, and selling to you at two five At £2,500,000, it's with you, Jen, and selling. With Jen Hua at two million five hundred thousand pounds at two million five, he'll say two six at two million five two six. Over to you, Wendy. It's with Wendy at two six, just ahead of you, Jackie. Say two seven. It's at two million six hundred thousand with you, Wendy, for now. At two million six hundred thousand. At two million six hundred thousand for the Cecily. At two million six hundred. With you, Wendy. Two seven. At two million seven. Over to you, Jackie. All the way from LA at two million. 700,000 pounds, 2,700,000. Wendy, you say 2,800. 
all on this side of the room. Against you on the telephones over there, two million seven hundred thousand pounds here with Jackie Wachter. Wendy. Two million seven hundred thousand pounds, Jan. Wendy. Two million seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Thank you, Wendy. Yes. We will. At two million two eight. Try another fifty. Two million eight hundred thousand pounds with Jackie now. If not yours for now. At two million eight. It's a small step. Two million eight hundred thousand pounds. Not yours for now, Wendy. Against the rest of you in the room and online at two million eight hundred thousand. Wendy? Yes, no? It's worth discussing. It's great to see. At two million eight hundred thousand pounds. Here with Jackie. <coughs> Thank you for your patience. At two million eight hundred. Fair warning. I am going to have to sell it at some point. At two million eight hundred thousand pounds. Wendy, last chance now. Thank you very much indeed. It's yours, Jackie, selling then for two million eight hundred thousand pounds. So congratulations, that goes to paddle fifty-nine. Thank you very much indeed. <clears throat> and here we are at lot eight, the abstract work from 2020 by American artist Spencer Lewis. Incredibly gestural work. Sold as viewed, thank you very much. I have some interest here already in my book, so I'm starting already at 30, 40, 50,000, 55,000, 60,000. At 60,000, with the tide advanced bids here at 60,000 pounds. Here in the book at 60,000. Who would say 65? It's at 60,000 pounds. Here in the book at 60,000. At 60,000. Are you coming in? At 665. It's bid online. Thank you very much to the online bidder. I'm out. It's yours. Paddle 21 at 65,000 pounds against the rest of you. Against you, James, at £65,000. Against you in the room. For the Spencer Lewis, at £65,000. Going at the moment to the online bidder, against the rest of you in the room and online, at £65,000. £70,000 in a new place then. With the online bidder, paddle 46, at £70,000. At £70,000. Are you coming back online? It's at £70,000 between you, at £70,000. Against you on the phones and in the room, at £70,000. £75,000. Thank you. Get back to Paddle 21 at £75,000. At £75,000, then. Are we going on? Fair warning at £75,000. Last chance, I'm selling for £75,000. Sold. Congratulations, that goes to Paddle 21. Next up, lot nine, we have Shara Hughes, Large Scale Sticks and Stones, which was the centerpiece of her 2018 show at the Bagruan Gallery in San Francisco, showing here on the easel, as you can see. And I'm going to open the bidding here at 280,000 pounds, 300,000, 320,000 only at 320,000, at 320,000, at 320,000 pounds, at 350,000 then, at 350,000 pounds, and 380, at 380,000, at 380,000 pounds, at 380, at 380,000 pounds, at 380. 400,000, thank you, Ollie, and selling then to you at 400,000 pounds with Oliver Barker. On the telephone at 400,000 pounds, against the rest of you, for the Hughes at 400, against you in the room, 420, thank you, Jackie, at 420, against you now, Ollie, at 420. You heard it here on my left with Jackie. At 420,000 pounds, any further advance against 420, Ollie? £420,000. Fair warning then. It's with Jackie. Not yours for now, Ollie. Against the rest of you in the room and online. Last chance. I'm going to sell it to Jackie for £420,000. So, congratulations, Jackie. That goes to paddle 59.
And now we move on to lot 10, Covetousness by Louis Frattino, who in recent years has emerged as one of the most exciting contemporary artists working today. I'm going to open the bidding here at only 110,000, 120,000, 130, 130,000 already, 140, at 140,000 pounds only, at 140, at 140,000 pounds. Any advance against 140,000? David, you're coming in at 140. For the Fratino, 150,000. Thank you, Simon, it's yours. At 150 with Simon Stock. 150,000 pounds. Here with Simon. Telephone bidder, James, you're coming in. It's not yours for now. It's with Simon at £150,000 only. David, are you coming in? At £150,000. <clears> at £150,000 then against the rest of you in the room and online. Still with you, Simon. Leading from the front. Fergus, no? Thank you, Phoebe. 160. Behind you now, Simon. Say 170. 170. Can you say 180? 180. Thank you. No. It was yours at 170, it's at 180 behind you. <clears throat> 190. Phoebe, will you say 200? It's at 190 with Simon Stock. Is that it? 200, thank you very much. At 200,000 pounds, it's over to you. At 200,000 pounds with Phoebe. Simon, 220. At 220,000 pounds now. Back to you, Phoebe, at £220,000. Not yours for now, at £220,000. We say two forty. at £220,000. Are we going on? At £220,000. Thank you very much anyway. Still yours, Simon, leading from the front against the rest of you and in the room and selling for £220,000. Sold. Congratulations. That goes to paddle 85. <coughs> And that brings us to the resplendent in every dream home by Caroline Walker from her celebrated series of Palm Springs painting. Uh, it's title inspired by the name of a Brian Ferry song written for Roxy Music in 1973. And I have some interest here, so I can start already at 70, 80, 90,000, 100,000 pounds already here in the book at 100,000. At 100,000, he'll say 110, it's at 100,000 pounds here already, 110. What, two, is that 200? 200,000 pounds, at 200,000 pounds here on my left. 220, thank you Alex, at 220. At 220, 250, thank you so much. 280, thank you James. 300, thank you Madam. Seated at 300, 320. Would you like 350? 350, thank you Madam, 350. 380, thank you very much anyway. At 380 with Alex Branchick then, not yours James for now. At 380,000 pounds. 400,000, thank you, Jen, at 400. Alex, are you coming back? It's at 400,000 pounds. At 400. 420. Jen, over to you, it's at 420 with Alex. Would you like 450? No? Thank you very much anyway. Nicole, back to you, would you like 450? You started this train at 420,000 pounds. It's with Alex Branchick. On the right-hand side, telephone bank at 420,000 pounds then, against the rest of you. 430, yeah. 430, Alex, over to you. Will you say 440? It's with Alina. Alex? It's at 430, 440. Alina, back to you at 440. It's not yours for now. At 440, unless anybody else would like to bid. 450, thank you so much. Alex, do you want to get back on increment? Say 480. It's at 450,000 pounds. <coughs> Alex? £450,000, not yours for now. Still with you, Alina, then, at £450,000. Is that four? Four sixty. thank you very much. Just wanted to check. £460,000, thank you, Alex. Back to you, Alina. Will you say four seventy? <coughs> four seventy. thank you so much. At four hundred and seventy. it's with Alina now. Alex, over to you. Of 470,000. Nicole, you're still on the phone there. 470,000, quite sure. At 470,000 pounds. 470. Are we going on? 470,000 pounds. Alex? 470. At 
470,000 pounds. Would you say 480? 480, thank you so much, Alex. 480,000 pounds. You heard it with Alex. I want to jump the bid, Alina. Say 500. 490. 490,000 pounds now. At 490. At 490,000 pounds. Gets you all in the room. Anybody who'd like to jump in, now's your time. At 490,000 pounds, back to you, Alex. At 490,000 pounds. With Alina Davy, not yours for now, Alex. I want to make it a round number at 400. And 90,000 pounds. Gonna have to sell it. Fair warning. Thank you very much anyway. It's yours, Alina, and selling for 490,000 pounds. Sold, congratulations, that's paddle eight. Well done to them. Up next is lot 12, one of Philippe Perino's life-size marquee works designed to hang over a doorway or from the ceiling from the seminal series that is examples in some of the world's most important institutions. Wonderful, magnificent work, monumental work, and I am going to start here at only 110,000, 120,000, 130,000. Oh, 130,000, 140,000 now, at 140, at 140, at 140,000. At 140, thank you, I took it with barmaid just ahead of you, at 150. Jackie, say 160. 150 it is with Barmay. Not yours for now. 150 with Barmay March here on my right. 150,000 pounds. It's yours, Barmay, for now. 160. Thank you, Jackie. At 160. Barmay, do you want to say 170? It's at 160. Thank you very much anyway. At 160,000 pounds. It's yours, Jackie. Thank you very much indeed. Against the rest of you in the room and your bidding online at 160,000. Last chance selling. To you, Jackie, for £160,000. Sold. I'll get back. Thank you very much. I'm sure you will. And now, lot 13, Trees, a surreal dreamscape by Nicholas Party, showing here, as you can see on the easel, produced in pastel, the artist's medium of choice. Here in a soft palette that is unique in his body of work. <clears throat> I have some interest here, so I will start already at £800,000, £850,000, and £900,000. To the bid in the book at £900,000 and selling here, 950. Thank you, Emma. I'm out. It's yours at £950,000 with Emma Baker, head of the Contemporary Evening Sale here in London at £950,000. One million. Thank you, Jackie. One million. Emma, will you say one one? It's at one million pounds here on my left with Jackie at one million pounds. One one. Thank you so much, Jackie. Say one two. It's at one million one hundred thousand with Emma at one million one. 1,150, sure. At 1,150,000. Emma, over to you. Will you say 1,2? Quite sure. Are you sure, sure? At 1,150,000. Thank you very much anyway. Still yours, Jackie. Against the rest of you then. Simon, you're coming in. James, at 1,150,000. Against the rest of you in the room. Fair warning then. And I'm going to sell it to you, Jackie. Last chance. James? Fair warning. Thank you anyway. It's yours, Jackie. Sold. Congratulations. That goes to paddle 59. Thank you very much indeed. That brings us to lot 14. Jana Euler's Humorous Beer Without Glass, first shown in the artist's solo exhibition in Brussels in 2014, now representing her debut in an evening sale. Some interest here, so I can start already at 70, 80, 90,000, 100,000 pounds to this bidder in the book at 100,000 selling here at 100,000 pounds. 110, thank you, Antonia. I'm out, it's yours, with Antonia Gardner. Head of the day sale here. 120, thank you, Basti, at 120. Ahead of you, Tessa, say 130. It's at 120 with Basti. 130, thank you, Tessa, at 130. One, is that a bit online? It's at 130 here in the room at Sotheby's. At 130. Who'll say 140? Basti? At 130,000. It's yours, Tessa, at 130,000 pounds. Lucius, you're coming in. 130,000 pounds, still yours, Tessa, 130. 130,000 against the rest of you on the phones this side. What's that? 
140. Thank you, Fergus. At 140,000 pounds, it's yours. At 140. Tessa, back to you. Would you like 150? With Fergus stuff. At 140,000 pounds. Still yours, Fergus. At 140,000 pounds. <laughs> no? Shake of the head. Quite sure. Against the rest of you, Antonia out, James out, Simon out. Still yours, Fergus, then. Against the rest of you in the room and online and selling for £140,000. Sold. Congratulations, Paddle 43. Thank you very much indeed. Lot 15 now. <clears throat> Here we are, the Miriam Khan. Her intimate and haunting The Close Look from 2018. And I'm just going to open here at 10,000, 20,000. Who's going to say 30,000, 30,000? Thank you, sir. 30, 40,000. I've taken it there. 50,000. Thank you so much. 60,000, 70,000. Thank you. 80,000. Thank you, sir. At 80,000, gentlemen seated. At 80, already. He'll say 90. 90. I took it here first. Would you like 100, sir? Thank you very much. Anyway, at 90,000, it's yours. Lucius, 100. At 100,000 pounds for Lucius Elliott. At 100. 110? 110. Thank you so much. At 110. At 110 against you, Lucius. Will you say 120? 120. Thank you very much, Gregoire. 120. At 120,000 pounds. With Gregoire Bio here, 120,000. He'll say 130. At 120. 130. Thank you, Nicole. At 130 with Nicole Ching. 140. Back to you, Nicole. Would you like 150? 150. Yes, you would. 150. Here with Nicole, Greg. 160. 160,000 pounds now. 170. Greg, do you like 180? It's at 170 here. 170,000 pounds, or indeed anybody else in the room or online. It's at 170,000. Fergus, it's over to you at 180. 180. Greg, Nicole, 190. Took it with Nicole first at 190. Fergus, make it a round number at 190,000 pounds here on my left, 200,000. Thank you so much. It's yours for now at 200,000 pounds with Fergus Duff then at 200. 200,000 pounds. Thank you so much, Guillaume. At 220, it's behind you in fact. At 220, ahead of you, Fergus. 210, 220. Will you say 220 with Lisa Denison at 220? He'll say 230. There are four of you. 250, like your style, Nicole. Thank you. 250,000, he'll say 280. So 250,000 pounds with you, Nicole. Not yours, Fergus, or Guillaume, or Lisa Denison. At 250, 260, 270. Are you going to save us, Nicole? It's at 270,000 pounds. Where's the bid? 280, thank you, Fergus. At 280, he'll say 300. There's still four of you. I'd like 300 here, please. 300, thank you, Nicole, at 300. Who'd like 320? 320, thank you, Fergus, at 320,000 pounds. Next bid will be 350, please. It's 320? 350, thank you very much. Fergus, will you say 380? 300. Stop. Go. At 350,000 pounds, here on my left with Nicole Cheng then. Not yours for now, Fergus. At 350,000 pounds. Which one? 60. 360. Nicole, will you say 70? 360,000 pounds. 370, thank you. Fergus? Are we all through? Fair warning then, I'm going to sell it. 380, thank you so much. 380. Nicole, do you want to say 400? This is 380,000 pounds here with Fergus for now. Try 400. 400, thank you very much indeed. 400, Fergus, we all threw it. 400,000 pounds then, here with Nicole Ching. Not yours for now, not yours, Guillaume, or Lisa. Fair warning, I'm gonna sell it. Last chance. 410,000, thank you very much, Fergus, at 410,000. Nicole? At 410. 420. Say 450, Fergus, please. At 420,000 pounds, here in Nicole. Fair warning. Next bids were 450, please. I'm selling it here to Nicole. 430, thank you very much. 430. Back to you, Nicole, at 430. Will you say 440? 
440. 440,000 pounds, not yours then, Fergus. 450. It's a long way around. 450,000 pounds. Will you say 480, Nicole? 480? 460. 460, back to you, Fergus. Will you say 480? Break it. At 460,000 pounds. Shake of the head. Thank you very much anyway. At 460,000 pounds, it's yours, Nicole, against the rest of you, and selling for 460,000 pounds. So, congratulations. That goes to paddle 68. Congratulations to them. Lot 16, untitled after Joseph Wright by Eva Yuskiewicz. One of the most exciting young artists working today who challenges conventional standards of beauty with her subversions of art historical references. I have some interest here already, so I can start straight away at 170, 180, 190, 200,000 pounds selling to the absentee bid here. 220, 250 I have. 240 I have. I have 240 here at 240. At 240 against you, Caroline. Say 260. It's at 240 here in the book. 240. 250 I will take. I have 260. Is that a bit? At 260, it's here with me. At 260. At 260, 270, 280. It's back here, still in the book then. At 280,000 pounds. Against you, Caroline. Against you, Phoebe. At 280,000 pounds. 300,000. Just ahead of you, Jen. At 300,000 pounds with Phoebe. Say 320. Would you like 320? It's at 300,000 pounds. Our phone just behind you at 300,000 pounds. 320, sorry, 300,000 pounds. Will you say 320, Jen? 320, thank you so much. Phoebe, say 350. It's at 320 with Jen. At 320,000 pounds, are we going on? At 320,000, are we all three? Fair warning then, at 320,000 pounds, which was that? 330. Phoebe, do you want to say 350? It's at 300. 30,000 pounds with you, Fergus, then at 3.30. Jen, will you say 3.50? At 330,000 pounds, not yours, Jen, for now, not yours, Phoebe. I'm selling it then to Fergus. Fair warning. Last chance. Get a sell it. For 330. 3.50? 3.40. Fergus. We well, say 350, it's at 340,000 pounds here. 350, thank you. At 350 then, still here with Fergus, against you both, against the rest of you in the room and online, at 350,000 pounds. 380? Yeah? Thank you. 360. 360,000 pounds. Back to you, Fergus, at 360. 360. Selling it to you then, Jen. 370. And Jen, will you say 80? At 370,000 pounds. Not yours for now. At 370 here with Fergus. Will you say 380? 380, thank you. Back to you, Fergus. Say 400. It's at 380,000 pounds. Not yours. At 380,000. We all through. 400 is the next bid, please. At 380,000 pounds with you, Jen. 400 is next. Fair warning. <coughs> 400 is next. It's at 380 with Jen. Fair warning, I'm going to sell it. 400,000, thank you. And 420 is next, please, Jen. It's at 400,000 pounds here with Fergus. 420 is next, please. At 400,000 pounds, are we going on? Fair warning then, I'm going to sell it to Fergus for 400. 420, thank you. Next bid is 450, please, Fergus. 420 is the next bid. It's at 400,000 pounds with Fergus. 420 is the next bid. <coughs> Try to crack on here. At 400,000 pounds, still with Fergus. Would you like 420? Fair warning, I'm selling to Fergus. 420, thank you very much. Fergus, next one's 450, please. 
It's at 420. 450, thank you. At 450. Back to you, Jen. Would you like 480 is next, please? 450. Here with Fergus. Would you like 480? <coughs> at 450,000 pounds. 480, thank you. Fergus, 500 is next, please. 480,000 pounds, here with Jen. Will you say 500? Thank you very much, anyway. At 480,000 pounds with you, Jen, against the rest of you, and selling them for 480,000 pounds. So, congratulations, that goes to paddle 58. Thank you very much, indeed. Next up, lot 17, mother and child. <coughs> by Kazani Violet Hwami, a beautifully tender work painted in 2017 and exhibited that year at the artist's critically acclaimed first solo show in London. I have some interest here. I'm starting already at 48,000, 50,000, 55,000, 60,000. Selling to the absentee bidder in the book at 60,000 pounds. At 60,000 pounds, any advance against 60,000. 65 is bid online. I'm out. At 65 is with the online bidder. He'll say 70. Took it with Marina just ahead of you, Ollie. At 70,000, it's yours, Marina. He'll say 75. 75, a ticket with Fergus then, at 75. He'll say 80. 80, with you, Ollie, at 80. Thank you, at 80,000 pounds. Not yours, Marina, or Fergus. Fergus, it is now, at 85,000 pounds. Back to you, Fergus. At 85,000 pounds, with you, Fergus. 90, thank you, Ollie, at 90,000 then. At 90,000, against the rest of you, at 90,000. With you, Ollie. Are we going on? 95 is a bit online now. Fergus, say 100, or Ollie. 100,000, thank you, Ollie, at 100. <clears throat> Simon, you're coming in at 100,000. Back to you, Ollie. Against you online for now. And you, Fergus, and you, Marina. 110 is bid online. He'll say 120. Is at 110,000 pounds. At 110,000. At 115,000. <laughs> at 115,000 pounds. We've come this far. 115,000 pounds then. Back to you on the online bidder. Uh, is 115. Next bid's 120, please, online. It's at 115 here at Sotheby's. Simon, you're coming in. Look threatening there. 115,000 pounds. Here with Oliver Barker then. Fair warning against the rest of you. Last chance. Last chance online. 120. Thank you so much. 120. <clears throat> at 120,000 pounds then, Ollie. We're we going on at 120,000 pounds. Fair warning. Selling it to the online bidder. Looks pretty final. Thank you very much, anyway. And selling then to you, Paddle 74, for £120,000. So, congratulations. That goes to Paddle 74. Moving on, we have Untitled Take Two, a large scale work by Jonas Wood that unites many of the most important and celebrated elements of the artist's unique take on the still life genre. <clears throat> and I have some interest here, so I will start already at 280, 300, 320, 350, already here in the book at 350,000 pounds. 400,000, thank you, Jen, I'm out at 400,000 pounds. At 400,000, with Jen Hua at 400,000 pounds. At 400, at 400,000. Against you online, against the rest of you on the phones, and in the room, at 400,000 pounds. 420, thank you, Nick. 450, thank you so much, at 450 then. Nick, say 480. <coughs> It's at 450,000 pounds. At 450,000. Next bid's 480, please. At 450,000 pounds. He wants 480. He's asking for 480. At 480 would be next. At 450. It's still with you, Jen. At 480. At 480,000. Sorry, 450,000 pounds with you, Jen. Against the rest of you, then. Against you on the phones and online. 480. Thank you, Nick. At 480, Jen, will you say 500? It's at 480 here. <laughs> You're out. Thank you very much indeed. Over to you, Nick, then. It's yours at 480,000 pounds. Against the rest of you, fair warning and selling for 480,000 pounds. So, thank you very much. That paddle 39. Thank you so much. Congratulations to them. <clears throat> up, ne sorry, up next is 138L a wall-mounted immersive sculpture that marks the auction debut for Leonardo Drew, who is currently the subject of a joint exhibition with Louise Nevelson at Tate Motten, maybe familiar to you by Instagram, sold as viewed, thank you very much indeed. I have some interest here. I'm starting already at 32, 35, 38,000, 40,000 pounds, selling here in the book at 40,000 pounds. At 40,000 pounds, then here, with the absentee bidder, here in the book at 40,000. 
at 40,000. Anybody taking this on at 40,000 pounds? Extraordinary hanging sculpture at 40,000 pounds against the wall in the room and on the phones and online. Fair warning, I'm selling it then to the, online, to the absentee bidder for 40,000 pounds. Sold, congratulations to them. That goes to paddle 22. And that moves along to the coal cellar, lot 20 by Raghav Baba, a young artist of Indian heritage who grew up in Singapore and studied at the Royal College of Art in London. I have some interest here again. So 17, 18, 19, 20,000 pounds, already at 20,000, selling here in the book at 20,000 pounds. Any advance against 20,000 pounds at 20,000? At 20,000 pounds, anybody taking this on at 20,000? 22 online, 24 is with me. Back in the book, 50,000 pounds. Thank you, Nicole. Thank goodness you're here. At 50,000 pounds, thank you very much indeed. At 50,000 pounds. Antonio, you're coming in at 50,000, it's with Nicole. At 50,000 pounds. 55, thank you. 55, over to Antonia, Nicole. Would you say 60? Or indeed any higher number? That's 55,000. It's 60,000 over to you, Isa. It's ahead of you online. It's here at Sotheby's. It's 60,000 pounds. That's 60,000. Who will say 65? 65, thank you, Antonia. It's yours for now. It's 65. That's 65,000 pounds. Nicole, you're coming back at £65,000, not yours online. Does a bit. £70,000, thank you so much, Isa. £70,000 then on my right, at £70,000 with Isabel Pardon. Uh, £75,000. That's £75,000. Back to you, Isa. £80,000, thank you so much, at £80,000. Over to you, Isabel Pardon. And Tony, you're saying £85,000, £85,000, thank you very much indeed, at £85,000. Isa, you say £90,000? At 85, it's here with Antonia. 90,000, thank you so much. At 90,000 pounds. At 90,000 pounds. Antonia. Are we saying 95? 95, thank you. At 95. Here's a make it a round number. It's 95,000 pounds. Here with Antonia Gardner. Back to you. 100,000 pounds, thank you so much. Antonio, we just say 110. Sort of comes between us here at 100,000 pounds. At 100,000 pounds. Here with Isabel Pargman. 110. Thank you very much. Is that 120? 120. Thank you so much. 120. With Isabel. 130. 130,000. Is it, will you say 140? For the Baba. 140, thank you. 150. 160. 170. 180. 180, sorry, 190. Thank you, Antonio. 190. 200. 220 is next, please. At two, 220, thank you, madam, seated. In the room, in a new place. Took it there, 220. Lady seated, ahead of you both. It's at 220. 240 will be next, please. Is a, or Antonio, it's yours, madam, at 220,000 pounds. 240, thank you, Antonio. It's here now at 240. Would you like 260? It's next. It's at 240. Yes? 260. It's yours at 260. Thank you. 260. Antonio, would you like 280? 260, seated in the room. 280. Would you like 300? 300. Thank you very much. Indeed, at 300. Back to the room, Antonio. 320. Would you like 350? Would be next. Thank you very much anyway. It's yours, Isra, at £350,000. Over to you, Isra, at three fifty. Antonio, will you say three eighty? I don't think you're talking to me. £350,000. Yes, three eighty. Thank you. Isra, would you like four hundred? dollars 
400. Up 400,000 pounds. Not yours for now, Antonia. Still here on the right with Isabel Pogman at 400,000. 420, it is yours now at 420. Is it? Will you say 450? We've come a long way at 430,000. 430 over to you, Isabel. Antonio, would you like 440? 440. Is it? Will you say 450? It is at 430,000 pounds. Here with Antonio Gardner. Not yours for now, Isa. At 430. Fair warning. You are bidding. 450. Thank you. 450. Over to you, Antonio. 460. At 460, back to you, Isa. <clears throat> yes, no? At 460,000 pounds. Here with Antonia. 470. Antonia. 480. 500 is going to be next, please. It's at 480,000 pounds, is there? At 480,000 pounds. Yeah. 480. Shaking your head, are you sure? Came a long way. Thank you very much indeed for your bids. At 480,000 pounds, then still here with Antonia Gardner. Gets the rest of you in the room and online and selling to you, Antonia, for. £480,000. So, congratulations. That goes to Paddle 49. <laughs> and that brings us to the last lot of the Now auction this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 21, Anonymous Now by Chloe Wise, which was painted in 2019 and featured in the artist's first solo exhibition in London. I have some interest here, so I'm starting already at 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90, 85,000, in fact, at 85,000, to the highest of the advanced bidders at 85,000, 90,000, 95,000. Back here, David, at 95. We say 100. Not 100, I have 110 here. At 110 to the order in the book, at 110. We like 120. 110,000 pounds, still here in the book. Not yours, David, for now, or yours, Phoebe, at 110. It's still here against you, Phoebe, against you, David, at 110,000. 120, I took it there first. I'm out. It's yours, Phoebe, then, at 120, with you, at 120,000 pounds. Over to you, David. Will you say 130? At 120,000 pounds, I'm out. It's yours, Phoebe. Fair warning. Last lot of this evening's now sale and selling for 130,000 pounds. Sold. Thank you very much indeed. Your paddle, please. 89. Thank you very much to all for tuning in from around the world. And thank you for coming here for this evening's The Now Auction. Thank you very much. Thanks. We will now take a short break, very short break, and then look forward to welcoming you back for the second of this evening's sales when my colleague Helena Newman will take to the rostrum for our modern and contemporary evening auction. But for now, it's a very good night for me. Thank you. Quite extraordinary really to think of how this painting would have been incorporated into the life of a industrialist family in Germany in the 1920s. It's after all incredibly modern and avant-garde at the time. I was really blown away by the idea that this painting hung in the Stern's dining room and it's really a complete masterpiece. It's very important for Sotheby's to reunite paintings with their World War II history, particularly where they were displaced as a result of persecution. And really bringing that history back is an important part of appreciating an artwork and its context. Siegbert and Johanna Margareta Stern 
were at the center of a cultural and a social scene in Berlin. Their circle included Thomas Mann, Franz Kafka, Albert Einstein. Siegbert was one of the founders of a major clothing business based in Berlin and they were co-founders of the Jewish Volksheim, which supported immigrant Jews from Eastern Europe. These photos, in a way, give a glimpse of this lost world of Berlin in the 20s, and the kind of life that the family must have lived before everything changed forever with the rise of Nazism. And you can just glimpse into a window into this world when you see that Kandinsky hanging there in the dining room. It's really a complete masterpiece. It was painted in 1910 at the point where Kandinsky was really entering into his greatest phase and it's just a most beautiful painting. It's a great honor for Sotheby's to be entrusted with the restituted Kandinsky by the Stern family. In the course of their research into the art collection of Johanna Margareta Stern and her husband Siegbert, the family found this incredible photograph album, which dated from the years before World War II. By the 1920s, the Stearns had an extraordinary art collection. It was extraordinary because it was so broad, from old masters to contemporary works, and clearly they lived with their paintings, they lived with their collection every day. I love Kandinsky's paintings, and this one has that absolutely those elements that you look for in terms of the juxtapositions of the intense colour, the square format, this large scale, almost a metre square, and this incredible energy as Kandinsky seeks to explore the very nature of colour and form and is pushing the boundaries towards abstraction. The way that the village of Murnau is almost reduced just to the triangular form of the rooftops, the elongated vertical form of the church spire, the way that colour is used for the sake of itself in these extraordinary juxtapositions of reds and greens and yellows and blues is incredibly powerful and of course is part of this journey. This Kandinsky painting from 1910 is undoubtedly one of the most important paintings by the artist ever to come to auction. And the fact that it's also coming as a result of the restitution to the heirs of the Stern family from the Van Abben Museum in Eindhoven adds another element to its rarity, the extraordinary provenance, and the sheer importance of this masterpiece of early 20th century art. This painting brings together lovers, landscapes, and events of Munch's own life into one magical moment in time that celebrates the forces of life and their destruction. I'm sitting here at Fitzter, about an hour outside Oslo, in Munch's house, in his studio. And you can feel the spirit of the artist rooted in this earth, in these rocks. The sense of place is so powerful, it's almost overwhelming. As we walk along the shoreline of the fjord here, we're literally walking through the landscape of Munch's mind. Munch's greatest works play out human drama against the backdrop of the fjord. I'm thinking of ashes, melancholy, girls on the bridge, and of course, the scream. These works all come from Munch's greatest achievement, a cycle of works called The Freeze of Life, which scissors out moments from his own emotional experience to tell the story of what Munch calls the modern life of the soul. The culmination and finale of this extraordinary cycle is the dance of life. It's an allegory of the cycle of life that places at its very center love. Munch's dance is a joyous counterpart to much of the melancholic and angst-filled imagery of the Frieze of Life. Munch's first version of The Dance of Life is from 1899. This version from 1906 is from a group of pictures created to decorate the interior of a Berlin theatre. 
It's the largest of that series of panels, and it's the only one remaining in private hands. Munk described the scheme as life played out in all its pleasure and pain underneath the trees. And here there's a tremendous lyrical energy, the flow and movement of these dancing figures on this large scale with this vivid coloration is really something exceptional. It's an image of purity and sexuality and death. At the very heart of the composition, Munk dances with Mili Taulov, his first love, while he's flanked to the left and right by Tula Larsen, his ex-lover. On the left, she's dressed in white, representing life, picking a flower of love, and on the right, in mourning, representing death. All around the central couple, the dance of life plays on. Munk uses color and brushstroke here to express the authenticity of his feelings. Here, there's a fabulous sense of rhythm and movement across the surface of the canvas, which unusually is painted in tempera rather than oil and gives the surface a dry, almost fresco-like feeling. There's quite a radical stylization of the forms here with all of the figures reduced to their essentials and everything subsumed to the mood of the piece. Munk purchased this estate at Rama in 1910 after 20 years abroad. We're surrounded by pine forests, the rocky fjord, his fields and orchards. For him, it represented a retreat from the world, an idyllic return to nature. He painted here in this room, and he also built an outdoor studio behind the property where he could work on larger paintings. Munch's estate at Rama has always been closed to the public, but in recent years has been renovated by Peter Olsen, whose father, Thomas Olsen, was a friend and patron of Edvard Munch and built an important collection of his work, including the screen. He also played a very significant role in repatriating to Norway works denounced as degenerate by Nazi Germany in the 1930s. Dance on the Beach is one of three paintings from the Max Reinhardt frieze that belonged to Kurt Glaser, a friend, patron, and biographer of Munch who lived in Berlin. Dance on the Beach is offered with the collaboration of the heirs of Kurt Glaser, and its sale at Sotheby's brings together two very important families who had such a significant impact on Munch's life. Sitting here, it's hard not to feel the intense power of this landscape. And when Munch was painting the Oslo Fjord, he was actually painting himself. This majestic painting is a tremendously powerful testament to that feeling. It's belonged to the Olsen family for the past 80 years and is among the finest works by Munch ever likely to appear at auction. You can't help but be completely immersed in the work. It's totally panoramic. It just consumes you visually when you stand in front of it. His abstract paintings of the 1980s and the early 1990s really represent the apotheosis of his artistic career. We have this spectacular work by Gerhard Richter, Abstract is Build from 1986. It is monumental in scale. And it's one of 24 paintings that he created in this scale of over 150 inches in width. It's one of a very few number left in private hands, so 16 of those are now in the major museum collections as well including the National Gallery in Berlin, the Staatsgallery in Stuttgart, and the St. Louis Museum of Art. And it has this incredible affinity, really, with the panoramic works of Claude Monet. Richter really began experimenting with abstraction in the late 1960s, early 1970s, but it wasn't until the 1980s that he fully developed his abstract aesthetic. Someone like Jackson Pollock is very important for, for Richter, and Barnett Newman as well was an incredibly important influence, and he's one of the painters that Richter has always cited as making the most incredible pictures of the 20th centuries.
Richter thinks about figuration and abstraction in the same breath and doesn't see them as two mutually exclusive elements. 1986 really does represent a breakthrough year for Richter. It's the moment at which the squeegee takes over as the principal methodology for Richter as he pulls the paint across the canvas and it mixes the colour in unexpected ways and it also destroys a little bit of what came before and it also has this almost photographic layer in the very background, in the very depth of the painting. So this picture really has an incredible collusion of colours and forms. The main thing that comes across is just this really complex dialogue between the primary colours, so red, yellow and blue. In the centre you have this waterfall-like form kind of cascading down the canvas and at the top of that it's really kaleidoscopic and on the left it's very much sort of watery, water lily, sort of aurora borealis colours that create this incredible wave-like form across the canvas. Richter's work encompasses so many different themes, but essentially it's about painting, and it's about the ability of painting to do something more in image creation. So it's that meeting of opposites, a, a battle between negation and creation, and the idea of chaos and order, and chance and planning. Because of its chromatic intensity, the amazing coalition of form and colour and the spectacular monumental scale, this is undoubtedly one of the finest works by Gerhard Richter that we've seen at auction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Sotheby's. My name is Helena Newman, and I'm delighted to be your auctioneer for our modern and contemporary evening sale. Tonight, I'm taking up the gavel from my esteemed colleague, Michael McCauley, who, as many of you have seen, has just completed the Now auction. Our second auction of the evening spans the birth of modernism and the early 20th century through to the evolution of abstraction and pop art. Highlights include one of the most significant paintings by Vasily Kandinsky ever to come to market, as well as the sublime Gerhard Richter representing the pinnacle of his abstractist built series and a seminal painting by Edvard Munch from the renowned Olsen collection. In addition, the sale includes Pablo Picasso and Lucien Freud's wonderful portrayals of their daughters, Maya and Isabel Boyd. Before we begin, a few announcements. Please note that everything is sold under the authenticity guarantee and on an as-is basis. Buyer's premium and overhead premium will be added to the hammer price of each lot offered along with any applicable artist resale right royalty and any applicable VAT or amount in lieu of VAT as part of the total purchase price payable. 
As of February the 1st, 2023, Sotheby's buyer's premium payable on each lot for all categories, excluding wine and spirits, is as follows. 26% of the hammer price up to and including £800,000. 20% of amounts in excess of £800,000 up to and including £3.8 million. And 13.9% of any amounts in excess of £3.8 million. Please refer to the online sale catalogue for further information regarding lots and guarantees and irrevocable bids. Please also refer to our conditions of business for our full terms of sale. So now we can go straight into the sale with lot 101. We open with 101, a completely fresh to auction work produced in 1989 by Barbara Kruger, who was recently in the spotlight with her large scale site specific commission for the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And we will start the bidding here at 400,000 pounds here, at 400,000 pounds here, at 400,000. At 500,000, thank you, James. 500,000, we have already at 500,000 pounds. James Francis Fox, 550,000. Emma Baker, thank you. At 550,000 pounds, Emma's bid, and against you, James. At 550,000 pounds, against you here in the room, at 550,000 pounds. Not your bid, James, at 550,000 pounds. It's still with Emma Baker, 600,000. Jackie Wopter from LA, thank you, Jackie, at 600,000. And welcome at £600,000. Against you, Emma, give me 650 at £600,000 with Jackie. At 620, thank you, as good as well. 620,000, now looking for 650. At 620,000 with Emma Baker. At 620,000, 650, thank you, Alex Branchick. At £650,000 for the Barbara Kruger at 650,000. Emma, it's against you now. 670, thank you, at £670,000. Alex, give me 700 at £670,000. Emma's bid. 700,000. Thank you, Alex. At 700,000 against you, Jackie, as well. And James, too. At 700,000 pounds now. Alex Branchick's bid at 700,000 pounds. Come in again, Emma, at 700,000 pounds. Not yours, Emma. Try one more. Give me 720. At 700,000 pounds. Still with Alex Branchick then, and any advance here. At 700,000 pounds. I have with Alex Branchick on the phone and selling, fair warning, Jackie, as well at £700,000. Sold, thank you very much. 239 it is. Thank you. And now we come to lot 102, sharing here. Thank you very much. The exquisite Picasso, Femme Mont painted in 1933, and now coming to auction for the first time. Beautiful work, thank you. And we start here at 650,000 pounds, 650, 680. 680,000 pounds, 700 now, at 700,000. At 750 now, at 750,000. 780, thank you, Jackie's bid at 780,000 pounds now. At 780,000 pounds with Jackie Wachter. Thank you, from Los Angeles at 780,000 pounds for the Picasso. At 780,000 pounds in any advance here. I have 780,000 pounds. And any advance here in the room at £780,000. It's with Jackie. I can sell it. Fair warning. Are you all done? I'm selling at £780,000. You all done? Fair warning at £780,000. Sold. Thank you, Jackie. 255. Congratulations to your bidder. Which brings us to lot 103 which is Francis Kupka's complex, one of the finest examples by the Czech cubists ever to come to auction. This is painted in 1912, a seminal work that comes from the estate of Sir Sean Connery and is being sold partially to benefit the Connery Foundation. Thank you, and showing here up front on the easel, we start the bidding here at 1.8 million pounds, at 1,800,000 here to start, at 1,800,000, 1,900,000 now, at 1,900,000, 2 million now, at 2 million pounds now, at 2 million pounds, I have at 2 million pounds now, at 2 million pounds, 2 million, 200,000 with Eduardo Roberti, thank you very much, at 2 million, 200,000 pounds, Eduardo's bid. 2,400,000 with Tessa, a 2,400,000 pounds and against you, Eduardo. A 2,400,000, Tessa's bid, 2,600, thank you very much, a 2,600,000. Still with Eduardo, a 2,600,000 and against the rest of you in the room I have on the telephone. 2,800,000, would you say 2,700,000? 2,700,000, I can take a 2,700,000 with Tessa, a 2,700,000, 2,800,000, I have it now with Alina. 
Thank you. It's your bit. Yes, I see you at two million eight hundred thousand pounds against both of you. Three million two nine two million nine hundred thousand. You give me three million, then Alina. Two million nine hundred thousand. Three million. I take ahead of you with Tessa. Thank you. At three million pounds, not yours, Eduardo, not yours, Alina. At three million pounds, give me two. At three million pounds now. At three million pounds. Three. 3,100,000 with Eduardo, 3,100,000 for the spectacular cooker from the estate of Sir Sean Connery at 3,100,000, 3,200,000. Thank you, Tessa, at 3,200,000. Now, Alina, are you coming back in? At 3,200,000. Eduardo, it's against you, 3,300,000. Thank you. At 3,300,000. And Tessa, try one more. At 3,300,000 pounds for the cooker. 3,400,000, thank you. 3,400,000 pounds with Tessa. 3,400,000. 3,500,000, Eduardo's bid. 3,500,000. 3,500,000. Try 3,600,000. 3,500,000 pounds, still with Eduardo. 3,600,000 pounds now. Thank you, Tessa. 3,6. 3.7, yes? With Eduardo, your bid, 3,700,000. Still climbing. Not going to let this go easily. A rare 3.8. Thank you very much for this rare 1912 painting at 3,800,000 pounds now. Eduardo, it's against you at 3,800,000 pounds. Try one more. 3,800,000 pounds. Still with Tessa. 3,800,000 pounds. Try one more, Eduardo. You sure? I will sell it then on Tessa Costreva's phone at three min Alina, you sure? Fair warning, the hammer's up. I have the bid with Tessa, and I will bring the hammer down. Not yours, Eduardo, not yours, Alina, at 3,800,000 pounds. Sold. Many congratulations. Thank you. 213. Which brings us to lot 104, which is sold as viewed. This is the wonderful Eduardo Chilida, Anvil of Dreams 12, a small scale work from the series represented in museum collections around the world. A lot of interest in this lot. I start the bidding already at 500,000 pounds, already at 500,000, 550, 600,000, at 600,000 pounds already. I have at 600,000 pounds, at 600,000 pounds for the Chilida, at 600,000 pounds now, at 600,000 pounds, several faces. I take the lady in the room as you come here in person, 650,000, thank you very much, 700,000, Alex Shader, at 700,000 pounds now, Alex's bid. 750 with Tom Edison at 750,000 pounds. At 750,000 pounds, Tom's bid. Not yours here seated. At 750,000 pounds, 800,000. Now, new bidder, third bidder now on the telephone, Fergus Stuff. Thank you. At 800,000 pounds, not yours. 850, Tom. At 850,000 with Tom Edison. At 850,000 pounds against you, Fergus. At 850,000 pounds, 900,000 with Fergus. At 900,000 pounds. Not yours, Tom, at 900,000 pounds. Give me 50. At 900,000 pounds, would you like to come back in? At 900,000 pounds. It's still with Fergus at 900,000 pounds. Are you coming in? At 900,000 pounds, Fergus, 950. Thank you, Bame. At nine, one million is what I need next, Tom. I have 950. Will you keep, one million, I have now. At one million pounds for the cheerleader. And against you both, Bame and Fergus at one million pounds. I've got now one million one hundred thousand in the room, I have already. In the room, the lady seated at one million one hundred thousand pounds, yes? At one million one hundred thousand pounds in the room. At one million one hundred thousand pounds, ladies bid in the room and who will come back in on the telephone. One million one fifty, thank you very much, Bami, at one million one fifty. On the telephone now, at one million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds, give me two. At one million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Try one more. At one million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Against you, madam. Against you, Fergus and Tom. One million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Would you like to try one more, madam? 1,200,000, thank you very much, at 1,200,000 pounds. And Bami, 
against you now at one million two hundred thousand pounds give me 50 at one million two hundred thousand pounds I have the ladies bid in the room I can sell it here fair warning at one million two hundred thousand pounds not yours on this side not yours by me are you trying another line one million two hundred thousand pounds no pressure but we're all waiting we have one will you give me 50 one million two fifty thank you very much Fergus bids Fergus is bid at one million two hundred fifty thousand. I'll take fifty from you, madam. One million two hundred fifty thousand. Still not with you, Bamé. It's Fergus now at one million two hundred fifty thousand pounds. And against you, madam. One million two hundred eighty thousand pounds. The next is one three. At one million two hundred eighty thousand pounds. Fergus, Bamé, it's your chance, and you're out, Fergus. Try one three. Otherwise, I'm selling at one million two hundred and eighty thousand pounds. You sure? Are you out? In? Trying still? At one million two hundred and eighty thousand pounds, I have one million three. It's much better rounded up. Thank you for your bid. At one million three hundred thousand pounds now with Fergus. And what do you say? Come so far? You sure? Fair warning. Thank you anyway for your bids. This marvelous piece. And selling then on Fergus's phone, thank you, at £1.3 million. Pounds. Sold, thank you, congratulations. Thank you both. Lot 105 is withdrawn, so we move straight on to Lot 106. One of the star lots of the evening, Lucian Freud's magnificent portrait of his daughter, Isabel Boyd, showing here on the screens. It has remained in the same private collection since the year it was painted in 1997 and has been completely unseen to the public for more than 20 years. And we will start here at 10 million pounds, at 10 million pounds, 11 million, at 11 million pounds, 12 million now, 12 million pounds, at 12 million, 13 million now, 13 million, 14 million, at 14 million pounds now, at 14 million, 15 million with Bastien Leuter, thank you very much, at 15 million pounds, Bastien Leuter's bid, at 15 million pounds now I have for the Freud. At £15 million, pounds, it's Basti's bid at £15 million pounds I have here on my right, and I can sell it at £15 million pounds for the Freud portrait. We have the bid here at £15 million pounds at any advance here in the room, otherwise I shall sell it at £15 million. Pounds. You all done, fair warning, and selling at £15 million. Pounds. Sold. Congratulations, Basti. Thank you. 229. And now, Lot 107, we move on to the fabulous Egon Schiele from 1912, property from the collection of Carol Joyce, showing here on the easel. Thank you, this work has been in the same private collection for over 60 years. And we start the bidding here at 500,000 pounds, only at 500,000 pounds, at 550,000, 550,000, now 600,000, at 600,000 pounds, at 600,000 pounds now, at 600,000 pounds now, at 600,000 pounds only. At six hundred thousand pounds, you bidding? At six hundred thousand pounds, and any advance here? At six hundred thousand pounds, and any advance? At six hundred thousand pounds, you all done? At six hundred thousand pounds only? This beautiful Sheila, double-sided work showing here on the easel. At six hundred thousand pounds only? At six hundred thousand pounds, you all done? Fair warning, at six hundred thousand pounds. Pass. And so now we turn to lot 108, which is Picasso's joyful portrait of his daughter Maya showing here up uh, in the galleries here, the wonderful 1938 portrait of Maya. This work was kept in the artist's estate until the 1990s and was later acquired by Gianni Versace before being sold in these very rooms in 1999 as part of the late fashion designer's collection of 25 works by Picasso. It has remained in the same private collection ever since. 
So we will start here at nine million pounds, at nine million pounds, nine million, five hundred thousand, ten million pounds now, at ten million, eleven million pounds already, at eleven million pounds, at eleven million pounds already, at eleven million, twelve million pounds, Sam Vallette at twelve million pounds now, thirteen million with Scott Michelle is thirteen million pounds now, Scott's bid at thirteen million pounds and against you, Sam, at thirteen million pounds now, at thirteen million pounds already, at thirteen million pounds with Scott, at thirteen million pounds. You coming in? At 13 million pounds. Scott's bid at 13. Are you coming in? At 13 million pounds for the Picasso. Still with Scott. At 13 million pounds. You're coming in? At 30, 14 million now. At 14 million. Phoebe's bid at 14 million pounds. 14 million 500 thousand. Thank you, Scott. 14 million 500 thousand. Give me 15, Phoebe. At 14 million 500 thousand pounds. At 14 million 500 thousand. Come in at 15, at 14 million 500 thousand pounds. Give me 15. At 14 million 500 thousand pounds now. Still with Scott, not yours, Phoebe, not yours, Jen. At 14 million 500 thousand pounds. 15, you're back in. Thank you very much. Phoebe's bid at 15 million pounds now. At 15 million, with Phoebe at 15 million. And Scott, what do you say? 15 million pounds with Phoebe Liu at 15. 15 million pounds now. Try one more. Magnificent work. 15 million pounds. It's Phoebe's bid at 15 million pounds. And any advance here on this side of the room, or indeed here in the sale room here at Bond Street, at 15 million pounds. It's still with Phoebe. Jen, are you coming in? At 15 million pounds then. 15.5. Tanya's bid. Thank you very much. At 15 million 500,000. Thank you. We try 16, new bidder now at 15 million 500,000 pounds. A new bidder, will you give me 16? 15 million 500,000 pounds, try one more. At 15 million 500,000 pounds. Try one more, Phoebe. Give me 16 at 15 million 500,000 pounds. This magnificent Picasso recently shown in Paris, at the Picasso and Meyer show, at the Musée Picasso, fabulous work from 1938. Give me 16, Phoebe. I have 15.5. On Tana's bid, the hammer is up. Do you want to bid? Do you want to bid? I have 15.5. Tell me, yes or no, if you're coming back in at 15 million 500,000. We're waiting patiently. 15 million, 500,000 pounds. You want to try one more? Scott, what about you while we wait? Are you sure? You look like you've, all this weight is making you change your mind or coming back in, maybe. I have 15.5. Thank you for your patience, Tanya. Both of you are asking me to wait, but the hammer is up. I have to give fair warning. Do you want to come in or not, Phoebe? Fifteen million five hundred thousand. I don't know what there is to discuss. It's a magnificent painting. We all love it. We all wish we could have it. It's a fifteen five. Do you have your client there? Ask them yes or no. Otherwise, the hammer has to come down. We've got many more lots to go and did it to go to a fifteen five. I have Tanya's bid. Fair warning. What are we waiting for? A fifteen five. It's very easy. Just say sixteen. Jen, do you want a word with the client? Okay, I have to move on. But thank you anyway. Sold, thank you very much. And thank you all for your patience. Sold at 15.5. Thank you, Tanya. Huh, which brings us to lot 109 which is Tracy Emmons, I think it's in my head, one of the artist's large-scale blankets produced in 2002. And we start here at 300,000 pounds, at 300,000, 320,000, at 320,000, 350,000, now 350,000 pounds now, at 350,000 pounds, at 350,000, at 350,000 pounds now, at 350,000 pounds now, and any advance? At 350,000 for the Tracy Emin, wonderful 
blanket at £350,000. All done, fair warning, at £350,000. Pass. Which brings us to lot 110, which is another of the star lots in this evening's sale, showing here in the sale room behind the phone bank the magnificent four metre wide painting by Edvard Munch, originally commissioned for Max Reinhardt's theatre in Berlin. Dance on the Beach passed into the collection of Dr. Kurt Glaser and was subsequently acquired in the 1930s by Munch's patron Thomas Olsen. Appearing on the market for the first time in 80 years, this work is being sold subject to an agreement between the two families. Here it is, the wonderful Munk painting, and we will start here at £9 million. Pounds. Here at £9 million, pounds, start the slot at £9 million, £9 million, £500,000, £10 million pounds now, at 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 £10 million pounds, at £10 million, who's bidding? Tom, thank you very much, Tom. At £11 million, pounds, thank you, Tom, for your bid. Tom Edison's bid. At £11 million, pounds. now at £11 million, pounds I have with Tom. At £11 million, pounds. at £11 million, pounds, it's Tom's bid. 12.5, 12, thank you, Brooke. At £12,500,000, Brooke's bid. At £12,500,000, it's Brooke's bid. At £12,513,000 with Tom. At £13 million, pounds, Tom's bid. At £13 million, pounds now. A 13 million pounds is still with Tom. 13.2, I take 13.2 in the room. Thank you very much. A 13 million, 200,000 pounds. A 13.2, 13.5 with Simon Stock. A 13 million, 500, 13.8. A 13 million, 800,000 pounds now in the room. 14 million, thank you. At 14 million. 14 million, 14, can you do two? At 14 million pounds. At 14 million pounds, we try to. Thank you very much for fourteen million two hundred thousand pounds here up front. Give me five at fourteen million two hundred thousand pounds. Try five hundred. Fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds. Simon Stock. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds. Next is seven hundred. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds. Try seven hundred. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds with Simon Stock. Thank you very much. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds, try one more. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds, still with Simon Stock against you, Tom. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds, give me one more. I have the bit here. I can sell it. At fourteen million five hundred thousand, you won't find a painting like this again. All the others in the freezer in the museums, unobtainable now. At fourteen million five hundred thousand pounds, are you sure? You sure? We're selling at £14,500,000. Sold. Congratulations, Simon. 238. Many, many congratulations. Thank you, Bert. Lot 111 is an early example of Stanley Whitney's celebrated colour grid series from 1997, sold as viewed. Thank you. And we'll start here at £500,000. At £500,000, £550,000, £600,000. At £600,000 now. At £600,000, £650,000. At £700,000. Thank you, Alex. At £700,000, Alex Branchick's bid. At £700,000 now. At £700,000 with Alex, and I can sell it. At £700,000, unless there's any. £750,000. 800,000 back in straight away with Alex at 800,000 pounds. 850, Jackie, thank you, at 850,000 pounds. Still Jackie's bid at 850,000 pounds. With you, Jackie, with you at 850,000 pounds at any advance here. At 850,000, I have with Jackie and I can sell it unless you want to come in at 850,000 pounds. All done. Fair warning, selling on Jackie's phone at 850,000. So, thank you. Congratulations. And now, lot 112, we move on to Gerhard Richter's spectacular and monumental abstract is built from 1986, a seminal year for the artist, showing right at the back of the sale room in all its splendor. And we will start here at 15 million pounds, at 15 million pounds now, 15 million, 16 million, at 16 million, 17 million now. At 17 million pounds, at 17 million, 18 million. Thank you very much. Wendy's bid at 18 million pounds now. 
with Wendy Lin, our new chairman, Southeast Asia, 18 million pounds. Thank you very much. With Wendy at 18 million pounds in any advance. 19 million, not 18 and a half, I can take as well. Thank you, Atelier, at 18 million 500,000. Will you give me 19 at 18 million 500,000? And again, Stuart, 18 million 500,000 pounds now at 18 million 500,000 pounds. Still Ottilie's bid at 18 million 500,000 pounds with Ottilie Windsor at 18 million 500,000 pounds. Wendy, 19 million, thank you very much, at 19 million pounds. Now with Wendy Lynn, 19 million pounds. Try one more. At 19 million pounds, Wendy Lynn's bid at 19 million. 19.5, thank you, back in again. Thank you, Ottilie, at 19,500,000 pounds. 19,500,000, who will give me 20? At 19,500,000 pounds. Wendy, you coming back in? At 19,500,000 pounds, you try one more. The superb piece, at 19,500,000, you try one more. At 19,500,000. 20 million new bidder, Genoa from China. Thank you very much and welcome again. 20 million pounds with Jen and thank you very much. 20 million pounds against you, Ottilie, against you, Wendy. At 20 million pounds for the Richter. At 20 million pounds, Jen's bid, Ottilie. Try one more. 20 million pounds. 20 million 500,000. Thank you. 20 million 500,000 pounds with Ottilie. Jen, try 21, 20 million 500,000 pounds. Ottilie's bid, 20 million 500,000. Jen? At 20 million 500,000 pounds. 20 million 500,000 pounds, still with Ottilie. Let's not have a repeat of the Picasso. You tell me if you want it. At 21, I have 20 million 500,000 pounds. Yes, thank you very much. 20 million 800,000. Thank you. With Jen. At 20 million 800,000, the next bit, of course, is 21. At 20 million 800,000, Ottilie, give me 21. 20 million 800,000 pounds with Jen while still. 20 million, 800,000. Try one more. 20 million, 800,000. Are you sure? Come so far? Thank you anyway. Then I have Jen's bid at 20 million, 800,000 pounds, and I shall sell it, unless you're coming back in, Wendy, not yours, Ottilie, and selling, fair warning, at 20.8. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Jen. Thank you so much. Which brings us to lot 113, Odessa by Philip Guston, who is currently the subject of a major retrospective on view at the National Gallery, Washington DC, which is coming finally to Tate in October this year. The fabulous Guston, Odessa, lot 113 sold as viewed. Thank you very much. And we will start the bidding here at 1,700,000, 1,700,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,
no, 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 I really need two five. And two million four hundred thousand, there's several people still on the phone. We have two million four hundred thousand. Who will be the first to give me two five? A two million Thank you, there it is, at 2,500,000. Thank you very much, Hugo. At 2,500,000 pounds, 2,600,000, thank you, with Claudia. At 2,600,000 pounds now. At 2,600,000, and Guillaume, are you coming back in? At 2,600,000 pounds now, against you, Hugo. Claudia's bid. Alex, at 2,600,000 pounds, 2,700,000, thank you very much, Hugo. At 2,700,000. 2,700,000 to 8, thank you very much. Still climbing at 2,800,000 pounds with Claudia and against you, Hugo, at 2,800,000 pounds. 2,800,000 pounds, I have the bid with Claudia. All the better, thank you very much. 3 million pounds we have now. Hugo Cobb, thank you at 3 million pounds. Claudia, give me two. At three million pounds. Hugo's bid. At three million pounds. At three million pounds for the Guston. At three million pounds. And against you, Claudia. I thought you might say that. Can't get two. At three million pounds. Three one I can take. Thank you very much. All the same. Three million one hundred thousand pounds. At three million one hundred thousand pounds. Give me two. Three million one hundred thousand pounds, Hugo. Not three million one hundred and fifty thousand. Thank you very much. Three million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Try one more. This iconic piece, not one to let go. Three million one hundred and fifty thousand. Try one more. Thank you, Claudia. Three million two hundred thousand pounds. Three million two hundred thousand pounds. Thank you, Hugo. Try one more. I know you can. Three million two hundred thousand pounds. Three million three two fifty. Three million two hundred and fifty thousand, Claudia. What do you say? Absolutely sure. Three million two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. You out? Or are you going to redial? At 3 million 250, and then I will sell it unless there's any further advance in the room or online. Fair warning, this is Hugo's bid at 3 million 250,000. Sold, congratulations, thank you. That's 225. And now, lot 114, we have the second work by Edward Munch in the sale. Apple tree in the garden at Ecole, showing here on the easel. It has been in the same family collection since the 1960s. And we start here at £450,000, only at £450,000, £500,000, at £500,000, £550,000, at £550,000, £600,000. Ladies bid in the room at £600,000 in the room, I have. At £600,000 in the room, ladies bid, £650,000 with Fergus. £700,000 in the room, ladies bid at £700,000 against you, Fergus. It's at 700, 750, I take with Fergus, 750,000 pounds. 700, 800,000, thank you, madam, at 800,000 pounds. Now, against you, Fergus. At 800,000 pounds, 850, at 850,000, try one more. Nine, yes, 900,000, thank you, madam, at 900,000 pounds now. At 900,000 pounds now. 950,000, Fergus Duff, try a million. At 950,000 pounds with Fergus. You sure? At 950,000 pounds. It's against you on the side. At 950,000 pounds for the monk. At 950,000, it's not yours online. At 950,000 pounds. Try one more. Are you sure? At 950,000 pounds, it's with Fergus and I can sell it if you're all done. Fair warning. At. I have 950. Will you give me a bid, Emma? Just as the hammer is up. 980. 980, I can take. Thank you very much. And 980. And who will give me a million? Fergus? Or in the room? Madam? I have 980,000 pounds. It's Emma Baker's bid now at 980,000. 
One million, thank you, Fergus, at one million pounds. One million pounds now. For the Monk landscape at one million pounds. Fergus's bid It's against you, Emma. One million pounds. Have the bid here with Fergus and one million pounds of any further advance in the room online. One million pounds. You sure? Are you done? One million and fifty I can take. One million and fifty thousand pounds. Try one one. One one it is. Thank you. There it is. Very quick. Thank you, Fergus. Super quick. At one million one hundred thousand pounds. One one. You out? You sure? Sold. Thank you, Fergus. Congratulations. Two three three. Which brings us now to the star lot of the season, one of the most important works by Vasily Kandinsky ever to appear at auction. Painted in 1910, Murnau mit Kirche II was in the collection of the Van Abba Museum in Eindhoven from 1951 until last year when it was restituted to the heirs of Siegbert and Johanna Margrethe Stern. This work has also been requested for the forthcoming exhibition after Impressionism, Inventing Modern Art, opening in March at the National Gallery here in London. So we will start here at 28 million pounds. At 28 million, I have to start this lot at 28 million, 29 million, 30 million pounds, now at 13 million pounds. At 13 million pounds, 31 million. At 31 million, 32 million now. At 32 million pounds now. At 32 million pounds now already. At 32 million pounds. 33 million pounds, Oliver Barker, at 33 million pounds here on my right. On the phone here at 33 million pounds I have. Ollie's bid at 33 million pounds, thank you very much, at 33 million pounds here on my right, at 33 million pounds here. Oliver Barker's bid at 33 million pounds, thank you, and I can sell it at 33 million pounds unless there's any further advance here in the room or indeed on the phones. I have 33 million pounds, it's a selling bid at 33 million pounds unless there's any advance here or coming in. At 33 million pounds, I have here on my right, at 33 million pounds. The hammer is up, 33 million pounds, with Oliver Barker, at 33 million pounds, and I shall sell it then, fair warning, are you all done? At 33 million pounds. Sold, many congratulations, Oliver, thank you. Thank you very much, congratulations. Which brings us to lot 116. The Polish conceptual artist Romano Polka, the work from his important details series, and we start here already at 300,000 pounds, so at 300, 320,000, 350,000, 400,000 pounds. Rafi Blanga, thank you very much, at 400,000 pounds on my left, at 400,000 pounds now. At 400,000 pounds with Rafi, at 400,000 pounds, and I can sell it at 400,000 pounds only, unless there's any advance at four. Hundred thousand pounds, Gil at four hundred thousand pounds. I have four, try four twenty. We're even better. We take four fifty. All the better. Thank you. At four hundred and fifty thousand pounds, then. At four hundred and fifty thousand pounds, Alex. At four hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Yes. Not yours, Rafi. Not yours, Olivier. Yet. At four hundred and fifty thousand, I shall sell it then at four hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Sold. Thank you. I was too late as it was already down. Yeah. 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 I can reopen with the hammer at 450,000, but next time please be quicker. Will you give me 500,000 pounds? 500,000, excuse me, at 500,000 pounds with the hammer. Your bid of 500,000 against you, Alex, at 500,000 pounds. What? I can't hear you. I have, thank you very much, I have 500,000. Next time maybe a little bit faster, but now we will give time to Alex if he would like to bid. Are you absolutely sure? I will take 20 if you would like. Thank you anyway for your bid. And selling then at 500,000 pounds. Sold, thank you Tessa, thank you both. Lot 117 is the Ophili, sold as viewed. It was presented as part of the artist's highly acclaimed British Pavilion at the 2003 Venice Biennale. 
and we start here at £750,000. It's £750,000, £780,000, £800,000, now at £800,000, now at £800,000, now at £850,000. Thank you, madam, at £850,000. £870,000 with Jackie. £900,000, Bami's bid at £900,000 against you, madam. £900,000, Bami's bid. Not yours, Jackie. Not yours in the room. I have £900,000. Want to try one more? Be sure. At £900,000, it's Bami's bid. Jackie, you're coming back in. At £900,000, give me £50,000. £950,000 now. With Jackie Rockter. At £951 million now. At £1 million. At £1 million. £1 million now. Against you, Jackie. Try one one. At £1 million. £1 million still with Bami. £1 million. One million one hundred thousand. Try two. One million one fifty. Yes, thank you. One million one fifty. Try two, Jackie. One million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. One million two hundred thousand. Try for three, please. One million. One million two hundred and fifty thousand. Jackie, I have one million two hundred and fifty thousand. Give me three. One million two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. One million two hundred and fifty thousand. Try three. Yes, thank you very much. One million three hundred thousand. Now with Jackie Wachter. One million three hundred thousand. You want to try one more, Bami? Otherwise, I'm selling it. Hammers up. One million three hundred thousand pounds. Unless there's any advance. Further here, Bami, you're coming back in for one million three hundred thousand, selling at one point three. Thank you, Jackie. Sold two seven seven. It is. Thank you both. Which brings us to lot one one eight. Thank you. Showing at the back of the sale room, Andy Warhol's striking portrait of the Blondie star and pop icon Debbie Harry, produced in nineteen eighty. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Warhol, and we start the bidding here at £3.6 million. Pounds, at £3.6 million. Four, £4 million? Uh, f ah, £4 million pounds with Greg at £4 million pounds then. At £4 million. Pounds. £4.1 million, thank you, James, at £4.1 million. Thank you very much. James is bid at £4,100,000. £4,200,000. At £4,200,000. £4,200,000. Now at £4,200,000. At four million two hundred thousand, that's with Wendy now. At four million two hundred thousand, it's not just Greg, and not just James. I have four million two hundred thousand. We try one more, Greg. At four million two hundred thousand pounds, I have the bid with Wendy. At four million two hundred thousand pounds, and any advance here? At four million two hundred thousand pounds. At four million two, four million five, Isabel. You can, four million three hundred thousand. So it's a good bid, thank you very much. Four million three hundred thousand. Isabel Parkman, a four million three hundred thousand, not just Greg, a four million three hundred thousand pounds, Wendy. Give me four. Thank you very much, four million four hundred thousand with Wendy. At four million four hundred thousand pounds, next is four five. Can you get me five? I have five already. Sorry, Greg, but I have five already. We'll try and get a hundred. So four million five hundred thousand with Isabel at four million five. Hmm? Thank you, four million five fifty. Somebody will give me four six. I know. Four million five fifty with Greg. Wendy. Four million six, thank you, Isabel. Four million six hundred thousand. Four million six hundred thousand. Isabel's bid. Four million six hundred. Four million six fifty. With Wendy, four million six fifty. Greg, Isabel, four million seven hundred thousand. You can go in hundreds if you want. Four million seven hundred thousand pounds. It's now with Isabel. Four million seven hundred thousand pounds. It's not yours, Wendy. It's against you. Four million eight hundred. Four million seven fifty. It is then. Wendy Lynn at four million seven fifty. I think the screen is a bit behind. I think the screen is actually behind. We're now at four, 
four million eight. There it is. The screen needs that. Yeah, thank you very much. We're at four eight already. It's Isabel's bid of four eight at four million eight hundred thousand. It's against you, Wendy. At four million eight hundred thousand, you want to try one more? At four million eight hundred thousand pounds for the Warhol. Greg, you're coming back in. I have Isabel Parkman's bid. Four million eight fifty. Going up in fifty thousands at four million eight hundred and fifty thousand, four million nine hundred thousand. Four million nine hundred thousand pounds. Try one more. Even better, try five. Yes, five million pounds, thank you. Four million nine fifty is still okay. But everyone is very patient. Thank you. Four million nine fifty. And Isabel may give us five million pounds. There it is. Five million pounds. We got there eventually at five million pounds. Thank you. Five million pounds. Five million pounds. With Isabel. Try to get a hundred if you can. It really should be five hundred actually at this level. At five million pounds. Thank you. Five million one hundred thousand pounds. Five million one hundred thousand. Fierce battle here. Five million one hundred thousand pounds. Isabel, give me two hundred. Five million one hundred thousand pounds. We have Wendy's bid. Five million one hundred thousand. Could you please try to get another hundred, as we got so brilliantly from Wendy here? We have five million one hundred. I'm looking for five million two hundred thousand pounds. If there's anybody here, a five million one hundred thousand pounds. Thank you. Five million two hundred thousand with Isabel. A five million two hundred thousand pounds. Isabel's bid at five million two hundred thousand. Isabel's bid now at five million two hundred thousand. Wendy, it's against you now. A five million two hundred thousand pounds. Try one more. At five million two hundred thousand, five million three hundred now. Next is five four. At five million three hundred thousand pounds. Have with Wendy's bid. At five million three hundred thousand pounds against you, Isabel. What do you say? At five million three hundred thousand pounds. Wendy Lynn's phone. Five million, five four. Thank you. Next is five five. Five million four hundred thousand pounds. With Isabel. Against you, Wendy. We'll try now for five million five hundred thousand pounds. We have five four already. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you all for your patience. Five five. Thank you. Five million five hundred thousand pounds. We have now for all the Warhol. Five million five hundred thousand pounds, Isabel. Try one more. Five million five hundred thousand. You're out. You're sure. Thank you anyway. And we will sell at five point five. Sold. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you very much, all of you. Your patience. Lot one one nine is withdrawn, so we move straight on to lot one twenty, which is the Sigma Polka. The three astronauts conquer the moon, anticipating, of course, the moon landing. And we will start here at 850, 900,000, 950, and 950,000. One million pounds. Thank you, Caroline Lang, at one million pounds now. At one million pounds with Caroline Lang, at one million pounds on the polka. I have one million pounds here on my right. I can sell it. At one million pounds, you're all done and selling. Fair warning, at one million pounds. Sold. Thank you, Caroline. <clears throat> 244. Thank you so much. And now we turn to lot 121, Soldiers View. This is now the largest painting by Robert Delaunay ever to come to auction. His Rhythme Circulaire from 1937, which has remained in the same private collection for 30 years. And we start the bidding here at 4.5 million pounds at 4 million 500,000, 4 million 800,000, 5 million pounds now. At 5 million pounds now. 5 million pounds, 5 million 500,000 pounds. At five million five hundred thousand pounds now. At five million five hundred thousand. At five million five hundred thousand pounds now. At five million five hundred thousand. Six million pounds with Ben Dollar. Thank you very much. At six 
million pounds, Ben Dollar's bid at six million pounds for the Delaunay, for this magnificent monumental Delaunay from 1937. And I have six million pounds from Ben. I can sell it at six million pounds. And this is any further advance in the room selling at six million pounds. Sold. Thank you, Ben. 242. Lot 122 is the Picasso. The Tet is a wonderful work on paper from 1972, which was previously in the collection of Stanley Seeger. And we start the bidding here at £650,000, £700,000, £750,000 now, £750,000 £750, now. £750,000 already. At £750,000, £800,000. Thank you, sir, at £800,000. Gentleman's bid. At £800,000, 850 with Brooke. Thank you, at 850 Will you give me 900 900000 Thank you, sir. At £900,000. At 900950 Thank you. Brooke's bid. At 950000 Will you say a million, sir? At £950,000. Brooke Lampley's bid. At £950,000 for the Picasso, give me a million. At £950,000 for this wonderful 72 Picasso. At £950,000, still with Brooke then, thank you very much, sir, anyway. At £950,000, and I shall sell at £950,000. So, thank you, 201. Thank you, Brooke. Lot 123, we move on to Alexei von Yavlensky's portrait of a girl in a sailor's blouse from circa 1910, never before seen at auction, showing here up front on the easel. And we start the bidding here already at 700,000 pounds. Some interest in this lot, I'm already at 700,000, 750, 750, 800,000 pounds. I have already 850, 900,000 the absentee bid. And 900, 950, several places, several places. One million pounds against you both here. One million pounds, Basti's bid, and one million pounds against both of you here, sir. I have already you one million pounds of Bastien Leuter, one million one hundred thousand, Sarah de Klerk, or one million one hundred thousand pounds. Try again. Those of you in the room at one million, one million two hundred thousand online. Thank you. Welcome to Sotheby's with the online bidder. One million two hundred thousand pounds and give me three. Or one million two hundred thousand is against you. Basti against you, Sarah. One million two hundred thousand pounds. We now have online at one million two hundred thousand. Would you like to come back in? At one million two hundred thousand, sir. At one million two hundred thousand, it's online. It's not your bid. One million two hundred thousand, Sarah. Would you like to bid again? At 1,200,000, I have the online bidder. At 1,200,000 pounds, 1,250, thank you. At 1,250,000 pounds with Sarah. At 1,250,000, it's against you, online. Would you like to bid on Sotheby's.com? Next bid is 1.3. I have 1.250 with Sarah de Klerk here in the sale room on the telephone, and it's against the online bidder. Thank you very much, you're back in on Sotheby's.com at 1.3 million pounds. Thank you. Give me four. At 1,300,000. Not your bid, Sarah. I have the online bidder. At 1,300,000 pounds. Try one more. For this rare Yavlensky never before at auction. 1,300,000 pounds. Sarah, I have the online bidder. I have to hurry you. If you want to try one more or not, one million three hundred thousand pounds. Are you sure? At one one point four. Thank you. At one million one million three fifty. Okay, that's still okay. One million three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Give me one four though online if you would like. At one million three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Sarah's bid. At one million three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. One million three fifty. Looking to the screen, one million four. Thank you very much. Online, we now have one million four hundred thousand on our website. You're out, Sarah. Thank you anyway. And selling to our online bidder at one point four. Sold. Many congratulations. Thank you. Paddle twenty-five. So we move on to lot one two four which is Sean Scully's magnificent wall of red light from the Malin collection, sold as viewed. 
and we start here at £650,000, £650,000, £700,000 now, £700,000, £750,000 now, at £750,000, at £750,000 now, at £750,000 for the scully, at £800,000, James Sevier, thank you James, it's eight. £100,000 now we have with James Sevier at £800,000 and I can sell it at £800,000 unless there's any advance here in the room for the Scully at £800,000 or indeed online I have £800,000 it's a selling bid I can sell at £800,000 £850,000 now online at £850,000 with the online bidder James thank you on Sotheby's.com at £850,000 £900,000 now with James back in at 900,000, will you give me 50 on Sotheby's.com at 900,000 pounds? Give me 50 at 900,000 pounds. Thank you. Still with you, James. Have 900,000 pounds. Will you come back in? Bidding online. It's against you. At 900,000 pounds, and I can sell it. Hammers up. Not yours online. James's bid at. £900,000. Sold. Thank you. 226. Thank you. Lot 125. Also from the Manning Collection is Damien Hurst's I Love You More Than Words Can Say from an early series of the artist Butterfly Paintings. Sold as viewed. Thank you. And we start here at £200,000. At two. £100,000, 220, 250, 280,000 pounds. I have already 280,000. 300,000, 300, I took ahead of you at 300,000. Will you give me 20 at 300,000 pounds? I took ahead of you at 300,000 pounds, ahead of you. 300,000 pounds is Sharon's bid. At 310, I can take at 310,000. At 310,000, will you give me 50? At 310,000 pounds. At 310,000. I take 320 from you, Marina. 320, 350 with Sharon. At 350,000 against you now, Marina. Thank you, Sharon. At 350,000 against you both, in fact. 400,000. Thank you very much. At 400,000 pounds now. With Marina at 400,000 pounds for the Hurst. Against you, Lorenzo. At 400,000 pounds. Try 20. Are you out? And selling then on Marina's phone at four hundred thousand pounds. Sold two oh nine. That congratulations. Lot one two six is the Marlene Dumas body bag exhibited at the Art Institute of Chicago in two thousand and three. This is sold as viewed. Please note this lot is subject to the artist resale right. Please refer to the conditions of business for information on artist resale right. And we start here at nine hundred and fifty. £1,000, £951 million, £1,100,000, million, £1,100,000, million, £1,200,000. Nicole Ching at £1,200,000. Thank you. £1,200,000 for this extraordinary work by Dumas. £1,200,000 in any advance. £1,200,000 is with Nicole Ching. £1,200,000 in any further advance on the Dumas. Otherwise, I'm selling. Fair warning. Hammers up at 1,200,000. Sold. Many congratulations. 253 is the number. And now lot 127 is La Dame au Chapeau, the Keys Van Dongen from 1912, a transitional moment between the artist Fauve and glamorous society portraits. And we will start here at £450,000 of £454,000, £850,000 pounds of £500,000, £550,000, will you give me £600,000? £550,000 against you, at £550,000, give me £600,000, £550,000 pounds now, £550,000 is against you, sir, at £550,000, £550,000, £550,000, try one more, £550,000, sir, 550000 is against you, a five hundred and fifty thousand pounds, not yours. Six hundred thousand, ladies' bid on the aisle. Thank you. At six hundred thousand, it's your bid, madam. Are you bidding? Or oh, are no? You really aren't bidding. You are gesticulating to someone. It is still five hundred and fifty thousand pounds. It's five hundred and fifty thousand pounds. It's not yours, sir. It's not yours. At five hundred and fifty thousand pounds. 
pass. But 128 is the Keith Haring monumental work sold as viewed from 1986. And we will start here at £1 million. So £1 million, 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 one million three, one million four hundred thousand. One million four, one million five hundred thousand. Thank you. One million four five. Thank you, sir. One million four hundred and fifty thousand. One million five. I have now with Guillaume. You want to try one more? Uh, I have one million five on the telephone. Guillaume Alakuzbid. One million six now with with Stefano. Thank you very much. Against you, Guillaume. Uh, one million six hundred thousand pounds. Thank you anyway for your bid. One million seven. Thank you, Guillaume. At one million seven hundred thousand one eight, I'm climbing fast at one million eight hundred thousand pounds. With Stefano, at one million eight hundred thousand pounds, not yours, Guillaume. At one million eight hundred thousand. Are you coming in, Jackie? At one million eight hundred thousand pounds now. At one million eight, Stefano's bid still. Yes. Are you coming in, Guillaume? I have one eight. I can sell it at one million eight hundred thousand pounds. Can sell it to one million eight. Still your bid, Stefano. Not yours, Guillaume. And not yours yet, Jackie. At one million eight hundred thousand pounds. Hammers up. You want to make a bid? One million eight hundred thousand pounds. Ready to go. Stefano's ready to go. One million eight. I have, Guillaume. I have to hurry you. I have to hurry you for this magnificent Keith Herring. No? Can you, one million, can you get 50, please? That is a very, very low increment, and we have been here with low increments of 1,800,000 pounds. Try to get at least 50. 1,800,000 pounds. 1,800,000 pounds. But quickly, though. 1,800,000 pounds. You sure? Selling, thank you, at 1,800,000. Thank you very much, Stefano. 270 it is. Look, 129. And we now move on to the Christopher Wool, sold as viewed and showing here on the screen. And we will start here at one million five hundred thousand pounds, and one million five, one million six hundred thousand, one million seven hundred thousand, and one million seven hundred, one million eight hundred thousand pounds now, and one million eight hundred thousand pounds now, and one million eight hundred thousand pounds now, at one million eight hundred thousand pounds, at one million eight hundred thousand pounds now, at one million eight hundred thousand pounds here for the Christopher Wall. And any advance in the room at one million eight. Hundred thousand pounds for the Christopher Wool. Are you all done? For one million eight hundred thousand pounds. And any advance here in the room at one point eight million pounds. Pass. Lot one thirty is no lot, so we move straight on. Thank you to lot one three one, the magnificent Fontana, Concetto Spaziale Attese. From 1968, created two years after the artist won the grand prize for painting at the Venice Biennale. And we start here at one million pounds already, one, 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 two, one, three, and one million three hundred thousand, one million four hundred thousand with Stefano Moreni. Thank you, a one million four hundred thousand pounds. Stefano's bid, a one million four hundred thousand pounds now. A one million four hundred thousand pounds, and I can sell it at one million four hundred thousand pounds with Stefano, unless there's any advance in the room. Are you all done? And selling at one point four million. Sold, thank you very much. That's 281. Congratulations. Lot 132 is withdrawn, so we move to 133. Another word by Van Dongen, of course, from an American private collection. And we start the bidding here at 380,000, 380,000, 400,000, now at 400,000, at 400,000 pounds, at 400,000, 420,000, at 420,000 pounds now, at 420,000 pounds. At 420,000 pounds now, at 420,000 now, and any advance at 420,000 pounds. Are you all done? At 420,000. Pass. And now, lot 134 is Jenny Savile's nude study, totally fresh to auction and from an important Italian collection. And we will start here at 300,000 pounds, 300,000, 320,000, 350,000 now. 
400,000, thank you, Isabel, at 400,000 pounds, thank you. At 400,000 pounds, at 400,000 pounds, with Isabel Parkman, at 400,000 pounds, Isabel's bid at 400,000 pounds, and I can sell it at 400,000 pounds only, unless there's any further advance, at 400,000 pounds, 420,000, with the online bidder, thank you, on Sotheby's.com. Welcome, and thank you very much, at 420,000. Will you say 450? Tom, at 420,000, I have online. The online bidder, it's not yours, Isabel. It's not yours, Tom. I have 420, 450, thank you very much, at 450,000 pounds, Tom Edison. At 450,000 pounds, give me 80. At 450,000 pounds, it's against you online. You try 480,000 pounds, please. I have 450,000, it's Tom Edison's bid, it's not yours online on Sotheby's.com. Would you like to bid? 450,000 pounds, it's not yours online. I have the bidder, the hammer's up, I can sell it. Fair warning, at 450,000 pounds. Sold, thank you Tom. 450, 234, and thank you online. Which brings us to lot one, 3.6, which is the wonderful Fauve Still Life by Maurice de Blamanc. It's been widely exhibited across major shows. Dedicated Fauvism comes from a private collection where it's been held for 20 years. Please note this work has been requested for inclusion. In the forthcoming exhibition, Maurice de Blamanc, Modern Artist Rebel, scheduled to be held at the Museum Barberini in Potsdam and the Fonda Heidt Museum in Wuppertal from the 14th of September 2024 until May 25. And we will start the bidding here at 500,000 pounds, at 500,000, 550,000, at 550,000, 600,000 now, at 600,000 pounds now, at 600,000 pounds, 650, thank you, sir, 650,000 pounds. Here in the room, thank you, sir, 650,000 pounds. It's gentleman's bid, thank you, sir, 650,000 pounds. It's not yours on the phone. And 650,000 pounds I have in the room, and I can sell it. Are you all done? Fair warning. At six, Simon, you look like you may be coming in at 650,000. I'm selling it then. Gentleman's bid at 650. Sold. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Nine on seven. Thank you. Which brings us to lot 137, the Pablo Picasso, De Nous Debout, from 1967. It's been brought here on the easel to show you in the sale room and the bidding, we will start here at 380,000 pounds, 380,000, 400,000 pounds now. At 400,000, 420,000 now. At 420,000 pounds now. At 420,000 pounds now. At 420,000 pounds for the Picasso drawing. At 420,000 pounds and any advance in the room. At 420,000 pounds, I'm on the phones, so you're all done, fair warning at 420,000. Pass. Thank you. And now, lot 138, Hive One, a wool-mounted sculpture by Anthony Gormley from 2006, was exhibited beautifully here and sold as viewed. And we start here at 160,000, 170,000 pounds now, 170,000, 180,000 now. 180,000 pounds now, 190. 190,000 pounds, 190,000 pounds now. 190, 190,000. You're coming in at 190,000 pounds now. 200,000, Simon Shaw it is, at 200,000 pounds for the Gormley. At 200,000 pounds with Simon at 2 hundred thousand pounds, two hundred thousand pounds with Simon at two hundred thousand pounds now. At two hundred thousand pounds, it's Simon Shaw's bid and I can sell it at two hundred thousand pounds only unless there's any further advance. I'm selling at two hundred thousand pounds. Sold. Thank you. Two thirty. Thank you, Simon. Lot one three nine is the beautiful work by Pierre Bonnard, Le Corsage Rayé painted in the early 1920s and once owned by Paul Rosenberg, one of the most influential dealers in modern art history. We start here 
at £450,000 here, £450,000, £500,000 out, £500,000, £500,000, £550,000 now, at £550,000. With £600,000, I take a head at £600,000, will you give me £600,000? We'll try one more. At £600,000, I have already £650,000. At £650,000 with Benjamin Mayer, at £650,000. At £650,000, and against you, Thomas, at £650,000. It's Benjamin's bid. At £650,000. At £650,000. Will you try one more? At £650,000. You're coming in, Simon? At £700,000. With Simon Shaw. Give me 50. At 700,000 pounds. 750. Thank you very much. At 750,000 pounds now. 800 it is. Thank you, Simon. At 800,000 pounds. 850 now. At 850,000 pounds. At 850,000. 900,000 with Simon. At 900,000 pounds. Simon's bit. At 900,000. 950. Thank you, Benjamin. At 950,000 pounds, one million pounds for the bonner. At one million pounds now, at one million pounds, try one one. At one million pounds, it's still with Simon Shaw. You sure? Want to try one more? At one million pounds, I have it's your bid, Simon. At one million pounds, at any advance here in the room, otherwise, I'm selling, fair warning, or indeed online, at one million pounds. So thank you, Simon, 285. Thank you very much, both. And now lot 140, which is the early work by Camille Pissarro depicting Le, the Seine à Port Mali. And we will start here at 400,000 pounds, here at 400,000 pounds, here already at 400,000 pounds. At 400,000 pounds, will you say 450? 450,000 with Thomas Bompard, 450,000 pounds. Thomas bid at 450. Thousand pounds with Thomas at four hundred and fifty thousand pounds, and I can sell it. Fair warning at four hundred and fifty thousand pounds only. It's not online at four hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Thomas Bompard and selling at four fifty. Sold. Thank you very much. Two nine one. Merci. Four hundred and fifty thousand pounds. And now we arrive, indeed, at the final lot of the sale. Edvard Munch's enigmatic young woman on the beach, one of the artist's most recognisable prints. And we start here at 950,000 pounds, at 950,000, 1 million pounds, at 1 million pounds now, at 1 million pounds, 1 million 100,000, at 1 million 100,000, we'll, at 1 million 100,000 pounds now. 1 million one I have already in the room, thank you, 1 million 100,000, thank you, sir. At 1 million 100,000, will you give me 1 million 200,000, thank you very much, Jessica. 1 million 300,000, thank you, sir. At 1 million 300,000, Jessica, it's against you. At 1 million 300,000 pounds, you sure you want to try one more? At 1 million 300,000, it's a gentleman's bid, thank you very much, sir. At 1 million 300,000 pounds, and selling, fair warning, not yours, Jessica, at 1.3. Sold, congratulations, thank you very much, sir. Nine subscribers. Thank you. And that brings tonight's proceedings to a close. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today for our live stream auctions in London. Do join us tomorrow, if you can, for our modern and contemporary day auctions at 12 noon. And we also look forward to reconvening in Paris on March the 15th for the Surrealist Sale. And with that, I wish you all a great evening. Thank you.